Good, I can successfully say that I am scheduled January 7th is my start class date. I moved to Oklahoma January 4th when I officially become an Oklahoma resident. And hopefully within that time period, I should get my computer and internet all squared away, and I shall be back. Hi. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I, I feel bad for Mike walking into that. Yeah. Um, how you doing, guys? Pretty good. I'm all ready to go. I'm waiting for you I'm guys. All right, well, I'm it'll excited. be a little while since we're just starting up. So I just thought I'd mention right off the bat, so we're in Copenhagen here, and i got to say, the, the Hilton is beautifully modeled over there, but the textures for the terminal are atrocious. Yeah, <laughs> they're default. really gross. <laughs> oh, gosh. The hotel looks great. The terminal on the other hand looks like it's from Yeah, I know. Well, worse than that, it just looks it like looks a like five-year-old a... drew it. Like, I mean, what the heck? What? <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the other what side. If you here? turn around, Mike, I'm on the other. I'm in a 737-600. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find you. You said you're on the other side of what? I'm just, if you literally turn around you, I'm on the other side of the terminal. I guess parallel oh, behind oh, you. Oh, I gotcha. Let me see here. Oh, I gotcha. There are two of you over there. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gate uh, Charlie 30. And, uh, yeah. So, hey, so, by the way, I did find, and I don't know if we'll see it tonight, we'll see, but I checked out last night, and it was, what is going on with my, hang on, I restarted this, but apparently I clicked on, so clicking on, there's something I click on that kills Chase Plane, and I have to restart it, and it really annoys me, I don't know why, alright, uh, stand by, I'm trying to go to my views, um, I downloaded that, uh, Inventex, or however you say it, the environmental textures package to get the Aurora Borealis, it is cool. Um, all the only thing I turned on was the Aurora, so I'll check out the textures that it comes with for other things later. But um, suffice to say, the Aurora Borealis thing is awesome. So what I don't is know, that? I don't know if we'll see it tonight. Uh, the Aurora Borealis is the Northern Lights. Um, it's solar oh. solar radiation that hits the uh, upper Earth's atmosphere, uh, primarily in winter for the Northern Hemisphere because the Earth is tilted thusly, and um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So. And, cool. and David, how did I mess up Christmas? What are we talking about here? Because I didn't update Twitch, which I have now updated. Just. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about you. I spelled Christmas wrong on my. Oh, you mentioned. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Never mind then. Never mind. Uh, and crypto, how you doing? And I s totally forgot the envelope again. <laughs> Stop forgetting the envelope. I know. <laughs> I saw you type it. Now, you need to learn how to spell envelope, first of all. There's that. But Well, yeah, you, you don't get the envelope now. Just exactly. So I'm going to blame that. If you'd spelled it right, magically, like Santa, I would have it somehow. But, um, yeah. Hey, Captain Tim, how you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. I've just updated all my Orbix, so this will be interesting. Oh, then, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, shit, there's an Orbix update? As Tim flies into a mountain. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't it know. It just I... takes forever to do. Oh, I know it does. Orbex updates take all kinds of forever. So, okay. Well, let's uh, let's get this thing going, and then we can chat more in the air. Uh, let's see. Where are we with regard to things? Why is the APU... Is the APU running? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, all right. Fine. Oh, nice. Uh, Orbex is not really a sale. I did not realize how much ATC is on until now. Yeah, there's quite a bit of ATC on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm all for it. <laughs> Works out nice for us. Um, in fact, I need to look at the VAT map here and see what coverage we have. Tower and approach. Yeah, I saw that for um, for catcher up here. But I want to see what the rest of... We actually have stuff going up into Norway a little bit. And then we'll... Uh, be on our own once we get further up there so yeah coolio yeah there's cool. clearly, clearly an event going on somewhere i would think that or it's just a saturday before christmas so everyone wants to fly and so europe's lit up and it's evening time over there could be who knows all right it's really nice everything's on crazy sales for orbix vector is down by thirty dollars uh, what else is... Oh, everything's on sale. Global Trees is $10. Oh, nice. 45% discount to the end of the year. You got Approach and Tower now, Moose. I got a what? Approach and Tower. Yeah, I know, we just said that. <laughs> That's odd. So are you... So are you excited for the new uh, expansion coming to the Leonardo MD-80? Uh, I am. 
Um, I don't. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know what a huge difference it makes to go from an MD82 to an MD83 or 88, aside from just the length of the tube. But um, what I'm more excited about is they're talking about integrating some of the PBR stuff now that uh, 4.4 has come out and doing that. That's more exciting to me than uh, the uh, the other thing. But still good. Still good. It'll be cool to have it. Yeah, I, was, I saw the I saw some of the art of the works, and the guys are doing it for PBR on this one group on the Facebook group, and I'm like, oh my god, I need 4.4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll be upgrading to 4.4 over the holiday, because um, I'm going to do it as a complete reinstall, and so I can turn this off because I'm on the APU power anyway. I don't need that. I can get rid of the cart, I guess. Uh, and I think. Uh, let's see here. Make sure that Mad Dog has gotten the current CFG. And we need to tell it to refuel us. I think we can do that through here now, huh? So let's do this. <laughs> Operate the jetway. Uh, yeah, let's use Norwegian Air Shuttle. Why not? You flying a Mad Dog? I am flying a Mad Dog. And that's... Moving in, good. And then we also want to request refueling. Okay. For right now, the Mad Dogs for me is, the, is I call it the the sour pooch. The what pooch? Sour pooch. Oh. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> so far, my chances making the start from Cold and Dark have resulted in two engine fires. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, I need to I update. I haven't even updated Nightbot yet. I have not, I know. I'm getting to it. <laughs> you guys need to chill. I know, right? It's Christmas! <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Just fly, jeez. Moose, you're wearing the wrong hat. I am not wearing a Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because. Because uh, you're like Santa Claus? <laughs> no, primarily, well, there might be that too. I don't have the big enough beard for it. And second of all, those hats are incredibly itchy, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. They're terrible. Yeah, exactly. Terrible, terrible itchy. So, no thank you. Uh, we can turn that off, I guess. We don't need Whoa, that. you got one of the guys who are. You got one of the air traffic controllers just pinged up on your chat. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, Dot Wallop. He's been here before. Flying through my oh. airspace, but I think I have to go soon. Oh, boo! What? Uh, what's your airspace, uh, Dot Wallop? Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> How you doing, Dot Wallop? Good to see you. Okay, we need to we need to update Nightbot for those that are impatient. <laughs> Oh, I just had a issue with my route, so I was just wondering if oh, you okay. had the same issue. Oh, what what kind of issue with your route? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, it's not really an issue, like, depending on the route. Uh, I, so the Aegis in this airport says oh. we have to depart off the four right, but the uh, departure I got only specified four, four left. Oh, okay. Well, we can probably tweak that. That's fine. We'll see. Uh, right. Route... Let me paste this in here first, and then we'll deal with that nonsense. He wants to know your, your ETD. Uh, estimated time of departure is probably going to be about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Only because I've got some setup to do here. Copy. We try to get off as fast as we can, but sometimes, depending on the day, it's just, just a little difficult. 330, I think, is our... Flight altitude. We are in a MD eighty two. How how does air traffic control order food? Uh, I don't know. Whatever food he wants is clear for departure. <laughs> oh boy! So this is going to be popsicle stick jokes with crypto. I hear my mother calling me. I got to go. <laughs> uh, Okay, Nightbot is updated, so there's that. Uh, da, 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 stop that. 
Okay. Uh, let's see here. For the departure, I'm just gonna put it right back after that. But yeah, let's see. Okay. Sounds good, Dot Wallop. Well, if you if you're there, you're there. But we'll hope you're there. But you never know. We'll see. We'll see. We will survive either way. But Navigraph, but, come to me. By the way, Moose, you should really get back in the American truck. There's some been some pretty cool updates actually. Oh yeah. They have turnpike doubles now. They have uh, the custom. You can put a lift gate at the back of your. Tra you have the trailer ownership. You have the. Ability to put like the wings on the back of the trailer or lift gates. Plus, they also brought Volvo into it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I knew about I knew about Volvo. They're working on Freightliner. I think they're working on Mac as well. I don't know about International. I'm really waiting for International. I love International. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, What's up, David? Route go. There you are. Are the detours in the game yet? I mean, like the the random detour stuff. Yeah. Yeah, random events are still there. Oh, yes, those random detours are there. Cause the other day I was trucking, I was just trucking around having some fun. I was going up uh, 80 out to Cali with some friends. And I, no, I was going up to I-5, and I got detoured to hit Santa Monica because it closed the interstate down automatically. I was like, damn it! <laughs> okay, see it was like the most inconvenient closure ever. <laughs> And I was with a heavy haul too, leading a convoy. It's like, where are you going? Like, I got detoured. Like, dang. <laughs> so yeah, there are the random road high whole interstate closures. That's cool. That's a cool feature. There's also a flying moose apparently somewhere. I haven't found it yet. Uh huh. <laughs> it's in the frozen area. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful, that guy. <laughs> well, uh -huh. it's it's just a moose head sticking out of an airplane, flying around in circles. Uh huh. Okay, so let's look at this departure and see if we can figure out what we're supposed to be doing here. Vets, the Veta, something or other. There's a billion of these here. Holy crap. Uh, where is it? Uh, I hate when they combine them with other things because then they're not alphabetical anymore. It's really annoying. Uh, yep. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Oh, what was that? Something just happened. Is now hosting. Oh, well, thank you, Dot Wallop, for the host with 13 viewers. Welcome to uh, my stream, you Dot Wallop guys. We are about to take off from Copenhagen and head up to uh, to uh, Trump, Tromso, Troms, Tromso, Trom I don't know how you say it. The, the really high airport up in Norway. <laughs> Tromso. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? This is the two what? Better to what? To Echo. Oh, I'm gonna go get Clarence. Well, at least you gotta be careful with that uh, M data there, Moose, because it's uh, you don't know, because there's no way you could probably be able to get back. What? <laughs> okay. Um. Nice joke. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, since M is one of the most realistic ones modeled, I said if it gets up, if you get the two so and the jet gets cold, there's no way for you to get back. Okay, so he wants us to do four right. Not that one. One of these veteran ones is probably the... VED3 Alpha, I think. Uh, I... Oh, okay, hang on. Let me see the... VED3... Oh, 3 Alpha, there we go, okay. Uh, for right, there it is, okay. So, yeah, so we just need to change it to that, basically. So everything else stays the same, it's just the veteran 3 Alpha instead of the, uh, the 2 Echo. So that's an easy change, if that's what they're gonna have us do, so. Okay. Three alpha. Cool. Simple enough. Simple enough. <laughs> All right, dot wall. No problem. Man. Okay. So I think our fuel is almost loaded. I think actually it is loaded. Yes, fuel is done. Okay. So let's uh, get these people on board. Request boarding. And let's make sure my doors is opened. They are not right now. There we go. Seatbelt sign is on. Yes. Okay. And let's program up this guy. Uh, route. So we are going from E K C H to E N T 
TC. If I can find T, there we go. Departure, arrival, departure. We're expecting four right, so we'll do that. That'll narrow that down. And Veda 3 Alpha. And back to route from Vedar. From Vedar. Uh, where's my... Yeah, not you. Sean McConnell, how's it going, sir? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Pull up my flight log here so I can see my route that I can put in. Uh, is that it? Yes. All right. Better uh, L997. L997. And that's to uh, LUNIP, L-U-N-I-P. L-U-N-I-P. P. And let's see, from there we Z320. Next page. To L-I-L-B-A. L-B-A. From there, we're going M125. Sounds like a highway in Britain. To uh, Ego. E-G-A-G-O. E-G-A-G-O. November 150. Uh, to Mike, what's your departure? Uh, it's on Nightbot now. Uh, T65. He's changing our departure. Well, that's fine. It's the two. It's the it's the three alpha now instead of the two echo. Yeah. Yeah. What uh altitude are you going for today? Uh, three three zero is what I have filed. I filed three four. So apparently, according to the power controller, uh, we're flying west. Um, really? I thought we're flying north. Well, in general, we're flying north, but <laughs> we're not flying straight north. Um, Cause he, uh, changed no, my... he, yeah, no, he's correct. Yeah, we're uh, ever so slightly. No, ever so slightly. No, we're flying east. That's not north. The R. All you have to do is look at the coordinates of longitude and latitude. You can tell that. We start out flying west very so slightly, and then we start going east again once we get up to where Norway and Sweden meet. I don't know. We should ask him. Well, I'll I'll give him what for. What's happening here? Okay. Uh, Gillen P six hundred. P six hundred. And then TRO. TRO. Okay. And we need to load up my flight plan into Active Sky here. Load. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, let's see. K. Okay. There we go. Open. Hi, Dan. Hi. Thank you. Hello. 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 And we should be expecting runway 19 in uh, there. So, okay. So, departure arrival. Arrival. ILS 19. Moose, just for a little information, if you run 12 of the special loads before January 13th in both American Truck and Euro Truck, you get a special account, special deal with your permanently on your account. Oh, that's good interesting. Thank you. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? So I'm running my 12 for American Truck and I'll probably run my 12 for Euro Truck tomorrow. That's cool. Where do you get these special loads at, or where do you find what they you are? You need to be part of the 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 world contracts. 
Yeah, I am. Which, which well, World of Trucks. Trucks count. Yeah, yep. no, which I have that, but where do you, where does that show, like, what's the, does it list it, what the special is, or is it just, like, show up in your lo load list of... It shows up in the load list. Oh, okay. It would say, something, it would say Christmas, like Christmas candy canes or stuff like that. Oh, stuff I got you. Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, the trailer will look like it's wrapped up in a Christmas present. That's how you'll know. Gotcha. One, one, but so there's one. also a description. Next time you go in there, you should see the news link and... Take a look at it there. Gotcha. I got Christmas decorations to uh, Barstow. Oh, nice. Somehow I went to the Volvo. All right, reserves are 6 8. Well, actually, fuel on board is 25.70. So 25.0 slash N. Reserves are 6.8. Is that Sean I heard? Three zero. Who? Probably. Oh yeah. Hey, hey what's up, Sean? No, quiet. Okay, who's talking? <laughs> it's encrypted. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Winds two nine five at fifteen. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. And a top of climb nine sixty. Oh, it figured out what my transition altitude is supposed to be. That's cool. I didn't have to do that. Uh, let's see. Actually, what is the transition altitude? Well, my thing says it's 5,000. I'm double checking it right now. Yep, it is 5,000. The Mad Dog did it for me. That's kind of cool. Well done, Mad Dog. All right, and our V speeds are. One three six one four zero one four nine. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Three six one four zero. Thank you. One four nine. All right. Thank you. So we'll set uh, one five nine here. And I wonder if he changed my. No, he did not. We're gonna say three. Who else is in an MD82? Alpha. Flight, but I don't know. Who's Delta? Uh, that's probably Tim. <laughs> Eighty-nine <laughs> sixty. He's probably not in the. He, I don't know if he's in the Mad Dog. He might be in the. Yeah, seven one. Uh, the seven one seven. Yeah. All right, we'll try that now. Uh, let's see. Adis here is... And it just crashed. Oh. <laughs> Information Papa. Uh, ILS approach. I don't care about approach. Uh, departure runway for right. Transition level... Transition level 6-5. What? No. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Transition level 6-5. Wind 30 degrees. This is a weird datus. It's only more than 10 kilometers. Sky conditions on the side. Two clouds. QNH1012. You got center on light. Okay. Yeah, that's a weird. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Alright, people are loaded. That's good. Uh, one zero one two. So, yes, let's set that. The peeps. The peeps are on board. All right, one zero one two is set, and I think it's set there. I need to do it over here though, because this one does not set for me. Okay, so the altimeters are set. Um, so I guess it's tower we're talking to for clearance. So 
I'm being annoyed right now, Ira. Alright. By a puppy dog. Okay. She's being a pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, let's see, I just want to have some ammo ready for this. <laughs> Uh, and TC is at 18.9 east, and Copenhagen is at 12.6 east. Yeah, so it's definitely, okay. <clears throat> Castle Tower, uh, Westwind 1990, is uh, looking for clearance to uh, Tromso. Tromso. Westwind Archer, Castle Tower, very good evening. Information path is current. And uh, just to let me know what is your requested driver? Uh, yeah, we do have Papa, and uh, we're requesting uh, 330. Uh, Westwind 199, Archer, say again, please. Uh, just confirming that we do have Papa, and uh, our requested flight level is 330. Okay, we've been one nine nine zero. As uh, you, your direction of flight is west. I need an even flight level, so I can uh, I can either offer you a flight level three two zero three four zero, and I can amend your uh, flight plan if you'd like me to. Uh, sure. Uh, just want to clarify though. I just checked. Uh, Tromso is uh, about eighteen degrees east, and Catstrup is about twelve degrees east. So technically, it should be east. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, your initial leg will be west all the way up to I found the uh, west Norway. Wing hey, be quiet. Uh, yes. I can, maybe I can make an exception. Just stand by. Just check the routing. No, that's fine. If that's the reason, I just, I just wanted to clarify the reason. So whatever you say, you're the controller. But uh, let's do three two zero then. If you want to amend, that'd be great. Okay, Westwind 100, I can see it's the first airway, which is on the westerly direction, uh, but the rest is to the east. So, uh, it'll be part of a pre freezer on your clear to destination by the VEDA 3 Alpha Departure, Homeway 0 right, Spork 3454. Four. Alright, cleared to uh, Tromso uh, via the VEDA 3 Alpha uh, off of runway 4 right, and uh, Squawk 3454. Four. Just with one nine and nine zero correct. And uh, Tower, do you want us to call for push or just for taxi for Western Nine Ninety? This with one nine and nine zero report ready for push. All right, we'll report ready when we're for uh, push and start Western Nine Ninety. Okay. Okay, I almost had an issue with my aircraft. All right, so we're gonna get three three zero after all. I understand. At least I understand. See, I just wanted to understand the reasoning behind it. If, they, if they're going, oh, you're going west at first. Okay, that's that's fine. I, I'll play ball. <laughs> I don't care. I just want to know uh -huh. the reason. I just want to know the reason. Um. Okay, so we're loaded. We got our flight plan in. We're going. Th I just need to confirm the. The departure here and make sure that we're good for that. So close that. Go to flights. Didn't I do that? I thought I did that. Oh, there it is. I did do that. Alright, open the charts. I'll download those in route. Sid. Should have, uh, Highlight it. Oh well. Better three alpha. There you are. Okay. So our initial climb clearance is uh, flight level seven zero, or as requested of low. Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, that must be the 
the six five he was talking about. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna put six five because I think that's what their radius is. Well, let me clarify. Uh, Tower West One Nineteen Ninety. Just want to clarify on our departure clearance. Um, are we cleared up to seven thousand or uh, or flight level seven zero or six five for the departure? One nine 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 zero initial and flight level seven zero. Copy that seven zero for West One Nineteen. Thank you. All right. Wonderful. And that's set for speed, uh, four zero. So we don't have any uh, altitude or speed restrictions except for that uh, cleared up to seven zero and obviously two fifty below. So that's fine, easy peasy. That's a zero four one. Good evening, we are in Papa Park. Can you come zero one two and request five five two and destination? Thank you very much. In calling was CSA zero four one. Yes, easy. Zero one. Zero four right is right there, and that is. He's a zero four one. Castle Tower. Very good evening. Information Papa is correct. You're clear to destination park. Find the C make seven hours to departure. On my zero four right. Squawk zero four six one. Let's get Project Fly set up before I forget. Yeah, and fly live. Yeah, uh, well, C make seven hours to departure. Look in zero four six one. Uh, correct. Yes, zero four one. Okay, CH, ENTC, and 1990, 3300, apply. Okay, that's done, and project fly. Why did it log me out? I was just in here yesterday, what the crap? How dare you? Sometimes certain updates make you log out. I, I didn't update anything though, that's the thing. <laughs> like, I understand if I <laughs> updated, but I did not. Sometimes it updates when you launch it, that's the thing. Uh, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> EKCH, do you like to import from VATSIM? Can I do that? Oh, look at you. That's cool. 1990. Well, it knows it knows things. Love it. Okay. Um, IFR select aircraft. Uh, where is my? Not you. November 282. There you are. And this is the Bravo 10. They already See that one right there. And fly now. Okay. That's done. We just need our checklist and make sure we're not missing anything. Because I'm sure at this point we are. Because I feel like we probably are. Let's pull these guys up in preparation for departure. That should be off. This persistence thing throws me off. Okay. Uh, alignment's verified. Mess set and checked. Emergency lights. I think are armed. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, windshield anti-ice is on. Engine sync selector is off. Stall warning was tested. Air conditioning shut off switch is in auto. Uh, fire protection system. That's what we didn't do. Fire left engine. Fire right engine. Okay. Uh, fuel quantity is checked 25,000 on board. Uh, altimeters are set 1012, set and cross checked. Uh, fuel shutoff levers are off. Cabin pressure lever is in auto. And that's complete for that. Okay, four star checklist. Okay, so we're ready for push. Uh, let's go ahead and close the doors, if less they've done it already, which they may have. Yes, they did. Uh, let's move the. That guy out of the way. Actually, let's get the uh, this guy out of the way because he doesn't need to be here anyway. Yep, Disconnect sir. all, please. Sure. To disconnect. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 44, 52, ready for push and start. Uh, Bravo 7. And operate jetway. way. Undock, confirm. Alright. United 4452, push and start approved. Thanks, sponsor. Just for United, 
probably have to wait because yeah, four, I know. Five, two, one, two, one, three. Oh, that's one, zero, one, 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 three. One, zero, one, three for uh, you landed. Forty-four, two. Change those while we're at it. He ended up relenting and giving me 330. <laughs> Since we are going east eventually. Doesn't really count. I, don't know. Hey, I, so I told him, I said, I'll do whatever you want. I just want to know why. And he said, go 330. And I went, okay. So. It's the majority of your flight, not the actual. Well, the majority of my flight is east, actually. It's just the beginning leg is west. So, if you want to do it by that way, it would be correct, 3330. It's only the first part is west. <laughs> Pretty intimidating, yeah, exactly. And catch up tower, west 1990 is uh, ready for push and start. West wind 1990, push and start, push. Uh, yes. Uh, push and start approved and QNH1013. Uh, we will be sitting here for a second because we're going to get de-iced apparently, so just FYI. Hey David, are you going to... Are you almost going to take the second to be holding Bravo 3 on my cell phone, right? Bravo 3 Sorry, I didn't hear you. Tower. You're good. I was going to ask you if you're almost uh, ready to taxi because we're at the way. I don't think we have enough room to push back. Oh, no. You can push. It's fine. Uh, I don't know. Are you sure? You should have enough space. Yeah, unless GSX does something stupid. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, that's going to be a close uh, nose to tail uh, there, depending on how GSX yeah. does that. Well, we're both 737s, and then maybe these 737s are in love with each other. I uh, don't want to see what happens when two 737s love each other very much. They make you 727. What wrong way they give you? Uh, it's going to be four right. Hey, just make sure Thanks. not to uh, use like full thrust into my engines. No, I'll do that. It helps. Uh, it's like... Well... Actually, when, once you yeah exactly once you back up, just uh, run up the engines a little bit and de-ice uh, Rothmuller behind you. I will. <laughs> no, actually, no. I'll use my reversers for this instead. Kevin, if if two seven four sevens make an SP, then there's some like uh, inbreeding going on because that's one ugly airplane, if you ask me. <laughs> no, two seven four sevens make an Antonov. Two twenty five. Antonov. No, two Antonovs from the seven four seven. Three concentration at fifty percent. I will call no, you. No, two Antonov one twenty four is making Antonov two twenty five. Right, here comes the uh, de-icing crew to, or they're starting now actually. Wait, does the nose of your aircraft have like a beard on it? Mine? No. That's the. Mine? That's the like rust spots or whatever that is. That GSX doing the de-icing? Yeah. Yeah. I use Type 3. I'm... Actually, when it strains out, I'll just tell it to stop. Just to just be 100%. What's your hot time? What was that? What is your hot time? I think it's like 30 minutes or something like that. I need to look up all the rules on the de-icing again. I don't remember them enough, so. And for those that don't know, when you get de-icing, the hot time is the acronym HOLD IF OVER TIME. Close enough. It's HOLD OVER TIME and it's based on the uh, type of precip you're having at the time. If you're having freezing rain, you're dead meat, but if it's uh, like splurries, you're good for like two hours. Gotcha. That GSX pushback. Was that GSX pushback? Yeah. Alright, full throttle. Yes, it is. Sorry, I used uh, Type 3, uh, Kevin. You're rich. I <laughs> know. I'll wait for you to taxi. O only the best for, uh, for us here. <laughs> 
I'm waiting for Mike, so... No, go ahead. Well, uh, no, I can't push until you're out of the way now. So my DIC there's, is leaving, so we'll be out in a second. There's two lanes. There, well, yeah, but it's pretty tight given the two lanes. I would just go. Did he give you taxi yet? No, we're, I'm still uh, going through my after-start checklist. Okay. Well, go ahead, and as soon as he clears you a taxi, go, because it'll be easier that way. Uh, no, it's just slowly going through over my checklist. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until push completed and brakes set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that on right now. What a noob <laughs> type two all the way. <laughs> Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. How dare you? How dare you? What is that? There's a commercial, uh, I think it's a cell phone commercial or something about, I think it's for Verizon, about getting more with stuff, and it's like a little kid following her uh, mom around with and talking about, you know, Apple Music, so she gets it, whatever it is, and, and like he grabs some of oh, her yeah, popcorn, exactly and she turns about. into like this demon, and is like, how dare you? Like the way she says it is like, oh my gosh. Here's a zero four one behind the parking scanner lane and line up on my zero four item way behind. Behind the parking deck of my lane behind is a zero four one. I bet you would. Why is that de-icing vehicle just sitting there? You want to like get out of the way? Release parking brakes. What's he doing? It's trying to make an uh, a voice for itself. I guess. Release parking brakes. I've never touched it's Asian like, guys. Popcorn. It's like most little kids on YouTube. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Yeah. Uh, where are you at, Mayo, with your uh, startup Release procedure? Parking brakes. Almost complete. Just eating a uh, pre-fed breakfast. Let's see. Don't you dare. <laughs> Release parking brakes. Also, a little fact. If you if you go to like service Release centers or works. dealerships and you listen carefully to the sound, each one has their own little sounds to it too. So like service centers, you hear the mechanics working. Dealerships has like the the music in the music area. It's like works. what? Nice. All right, Ted. I'm gonna ask you to be quiet for one second. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for choosing Mayo Airways. Not the best condiment. Do your second best though. Oh, oh my God. All right. Let's get, let me get taxi later so I don't keep everybody waiting. Yes, please. Release parking brakes. I mean, Tower United 4452 will get taxi zero four eight. United 4452 taxi holding point Bravo 3 on way zero four eight right quick. Sulu and Bravo cross one way three zero. Release parking brakes. I could not understand him at all. Well, it'll. Ask for clarification. Release parking United 4452, taxi holding point Bravo 3, runway 04 right, right quick. Zulu and Bravo, cross runway 3 0. Release parking brakes. Quebec Zulu Bravo, cross runway something. Got it. <laughs> Hold short of Bravo 3 0 right. Quebec Zulu Bravo, Release cross 3 0 for 4452. Is a zero four one after departure. Check Copenhagen approach frequency one one nine degrees one eight. Wind zero five zero degrees one knot. Runway zero four right. Take off. Merry Christmas. Zero four right. Three four take off and after departure. Uh, one one nine degrees one eight. David, are you going to get a taxi right now too, or are you going to wait? Release parking brakes. I'm just waiting behind him. No, I know he's going now though. So. Yeah, I'll start taxiing. Okay. Release parking brakes. Release parking brakes. I know. Good grief. John is so pushy. Release parking He tells brakes. me to follow a uh, company, United. Well, are you United, though? Well, no, but... Then he can't tell you to follow the company, now can you? <laughs> I don't know where the hell I'm going. Hold on. Oh, good grief. Taxi holding point Quebec. Bravo 3, runway 4 right, via Quebec, Zulu, breaks. Bravo, cross 3 zero. Same taxi clearance as he got. Release 
Release parking brakes. Copenhagen Tower, good evening, Mr. Ryanair. 448 Kilo, position Foxtrot 4, information Quebec, request startup and dive are clearing. Release parking brakes. Great, we are starting to four four eight kilo Copenhagen Russian Castle Tower good the evening Quebec is current your fair to destination the Naples line the CMAX seven out of the departure on the zero four eight squawk one seven three two release parking brakes uh, repeat the squawk three four and a four four eight kilo and a four four eight kilo squawk one seven three two Rainer 448 Kilo, we are clear to our destination Naples via CMAX 7 Alpha Departure Road, runway 4 right, Release and squawk 1732. Rainer 448 Kilo, great start of a question, next 1013. Start of 1013, Rainer 448 Kilo. And, and Tower West 1990 is now uh, ready to push. Wisdom 1990, it is approved, 1013. Push approved, 1013, Wisdom 1990. Okay, parking brakes released. Commencing push. Due to icing conditions, please stand by yeah, and yeah, start yeah. until push completed and brakes set. Alright, well, before we start a checklist, let's do that anyway. Parking brakes are obviously not required because we're moving. Uh, new back pressure is uh, not there, so we need to turn the air on. There we go. There's new back pressure, which is also not sufficient. What's going on? Oh, the the uh, air, air conditioning system's running. There we go. There's some uh, sufficient pressure. Engine ignition selector to both. Anti collision lights are on. Left and right tank pumps are uh, coming on now. Uh, APU normal economic switch is normal. APU air, sorry air conditioning supply switch is off. Pneumatic cross feed levers are open. Thrust levers are idle. And before start checklist is complete, so we're just gonna wait till we're told by uh, these guys that we're good to go. Sounds like a very lazy 1990. How dare how dare you? <laughs> set parking brakes. Brake set. Disconnected. Bypass been removed. All right, you are disconnected. I'm not waiting to start my engines anymore. You're done. Okay, so that's all set to go. So I'm going to start the number two. Left is clear. Power good. Right is clear. Delta eight nine six nine. Charlie 23 is switched to, uh, trust. Delta 8969, how cool. Taking control, good evening. Information, Quebec is currently a to destination. Transfer via the data. 3 yellow telepath. Unraised 0 4 right. Squawk 4636. Six. Squawk 4636. And, uh, we do have Quebec. Uh, Delta 8969 is clear to, uh, the Data 3 Alpha, departure off of 4 right, squad 4636, that's for Delta 8969. Okay, Light up at number 1. Okay. 
94452 after a contact from Canadian approach frequency 119 at eight. The winds are calm and we show full light of clear for take off minute Christmas. Should we take off to for right hold on departure error? Merry Christmas to you as well. We Thanks for your check, so center pumps on. Thank you. I'm gonna kill the APU. APU air off. APU off. We're in a 737. I don't know why it's giving us an intersection departure, but whatever. Well, the runway's long enough. I did an intersection departure in a 747 once because the runway was huge. <laughs> that was the cr first time we did cross the pond. Uh, he asked That's if I could do it. Frequency. We could, so. 119.8. Appreciate you. Turn that off. Runway six seven Zulu Charlie information expedit request in turn. Take off set. Auto brake armed. Speed brake armed. Oh. Flaps coming down. And uh, six seven Charlie, go get the tower. Very good evening. Information correct is correct. You clear to destination. They cruise by the sea. Make is seven as the departure. One way zero four five four five five two three. So take off my flight directors. Oh. Net six seven zero Charlie, we are cleared to uh, Naples via ZMEC seven high five out of zero four right. And to score Shh. five five two uh, three. Oh, that's not good. We're slowing down. Auto breaks out. Okay, uh, abort the takeoff. Seven, yep. What happened? Engine, our left engine had an overheat light. Tower Westwood 1990s, ready to taxi. Good evening, Tower. Good evening, Good evening, Tower. 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 Good evening, one zero seven zero one two. Catch the tower. Good evening. Then you can run on runway zero four left. Catch the landing. Landing approved. Good landing runway zero four left. Thank you. Seven zero one two. Okay, tower United forty four fifty two. We have an engine light come on, uh, so we slow down. Vacated off of uh, Bravo five. Can you get a tax clearance back over to zero four right, and see if we can uh, get a problem while we're taxiing? United four four five two Roger. You can continue uh, uh, continue correction. Which um, which intersection did you, did you vacate the runway? Bravo five. We're on uh, Bravo five. Okay, United four four five two. Continue Bravo five and let me know if you're able to make a left hand turn. Roger. Tower Westwood nineteen nineties ready for taxi. This one, the one nine nine zero six by Quebec, Sulu, and Bravo, Porsche, on way three zero. Taxi via Quebec, Zulu, Bravo, hold short, runway three zero, West one nine ninety. And we're on able to make a turn here for forty four fifty two. Think we can uh, cross three zero, maybe uh, three sixty there. Nice four four five two right to continue right turn on Bravo, left turn on on way three zero, hold short delta. Alright, here we go. Tower Westwood nineteen nineties, ready for forty four fifty two. Four four five two negative uh, make left turn on runway three zero. Left turn on runway three zero and then hold delta. Left turn on three zero and uh, hold short delta for forty four fifty two. Ryanair four four eight kilo request quick. Feel bad for my passenger. Ryanair right four four eight kilo. Well, taxi by whiskey. Yeah, but at the same time, you feel worse if you took off with an engine problem that kills them all. So you know. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know if I should. I'm just gonna try departing again because it was a it was so nothing bad. It was just an overheat right engine light. Four, so I don't know. Yes, I confirm that you were requesting taxi. 
I seem to like always have problems. Oh, okay, push and start is approved. Push and start approved to answer information we are doing a straight pushback onto the text page. Right, and yeah, fall for eight people. Yeah, I said four, four, five, two, continue holding point Bravo, so you want my show for right, white, Delta, Charlie, and Bravo. Oh, the Bravo, Bravo, Bravo 3, uh, short of zero, 04 right for uh, United 4452. Pull up and take it with you to the nearest suitable exit. After exiting that was the wrong way. Place your arms to the straps and under the Megan Tower, Delta 8959, Charlie 23, push and start. Delta 896, Hannah, let's walk 4636. Bravo's over there. <laughs> Keeping in mind that it may be behind you. If there is a loss of electrical power, low level emergency lights will illuminate you. All exits are indicated by lighted exit signs. There's Bravo. In case of a loss of cabin pressure, where did David Roth? David go. I'm still on the frequency. I've just taken off though. Yeah, he took oh. off. And a 6 7 blue Charlie at position for obstruct one requesting push and stop. Pull the tab on either side of the mask to tighten. The plastic bag does not need to inflate when oxygen is flowing. Be sure to secure your mask first. Then my bottom there, um, the west, uh, hit 1990, continue holding point Bravo 3 on the 0 4 right via Bravo, cross one way 3 0. Continue on Bravo, cross runway 30, Western 990. Strobe's on to cross the runway. I'm gonna. I'm going to six seven super charge. What am I gonna do? I'll let you. No, just. Hey, come on, the company some stuff. Just push down, 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 Strobes back off. Okay, I think we're good. No light there. Just uh, get one nine nine zero. Give way to United. Uh, he's coming up from Jackson Way Town. Yeah, we got the United in sight. We'll give way west on ninety. One zero seven zero one two. Welcome to Copenhagen. Section my Alpha. Hold your on way three zero. Thank you for welcoming to continue with the XTY Alpha, which was on way 3, 0, not sure, 7, 1, 2. And Tower Delta 8969, for your divorce, Charles 23. Delta 8969, thank you. Push and start approved. QNH 1013. QNH, thank you. Clear to start, clear to push. Where did Tim go? He's pushing right now. Oh. He got a setback because his sim crashed. Oh. It's a nice looking 7-8. Yeah, the uh, Norwegian over there. Norwegian has, Norwegian has two uh, names now. They're, they're standard Norwegian and they have red nose. What? Are there ones that are not red nosed? No, Norwegian Airlines, they have a call sign. One that calls them Charlie Tito, Tito, Tito by Alpha, Foxtrot, and oh. Quebec, cross one way Tito. Like Tito, Tito. their call sign is the color that is the aircraft. No. Oh. So again, please form your shuttle. That 7 8 came from JFK. No, sir. Oh, that's a nice long flight. Charlie Tito by Alpha, Foxtrot, Quebec, cross one way Tito. Uh, next is this, um, Alpha, I don't know what, sorry, but next to uh, Alpha, runway 30, that's the 7012. Okay. 7012, after Alpha, Foxtrot, and then Quebec, the stand number is Charlie 30. Oh, Roger, next is to stand Charlie 30. Via Alpha, Foster, Quebec, and Cross Runway 30. Is it good? I'm not sure the 7012. Yeah, I said 4452, runway after departure, contact Copenhagen approach, PC 119 at ASM 8, the winter calm, runway 04 and get the takeoff. Merry Christmas. 04 8, we'll take off and now we're not going to worry that this will work this time for 04. Uh, I'm losing my mind here now. Thank you.
The there's been one nine and nine of zero behind the parking United line up and make sure we fall right and wait behind. Okay, we'll line up and wait behind the uh, departing seven thirty seven nineteen ninety. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, happy holidays to the tower. It's not really holidays anymore, it's more like Merry Christmas, but it's okay. Whatever, yeah, whatever floats okay. your boat. it's not the end of the world. It could be either one or nothing, it's up to you. <laughs> I'm Jewish and I still say Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. okay? And 6 7 do not eat Christmas tea. And 6 7 do not eat Christmas holding point, I will see you on my show for my, my whiskey. Formio and Bravo, cross runway 30. Yeah, so Mayo, this runway is almost 11,000 feet long, so... Zulu, taxi, That's uh, not long enough. Bravo, please, <laughs> yeah. from the Zulu, taxi, Bravo, please, from the Zulu, for right, via Whiskey, uh, Romeo oh, and Bravo, luck. and cross runway 30. I'm guessing nothing's long enough for you. Right, yeah. Full power, no light, we're good. Alright. See you in the sky. Man, 448, Kilo, taxi, yeah. holding point, Bravo, please, on my zero four right, follow company, Boeing 737800, cross runway 30. Two holding points, Bravo, three runway four right, uh, behind the company, uh, and crossing to zero, uh, right now. 448, Apparently there's no other center. Oh. So right after the approach, you just go on to Unicom. Gotcha. That took us way too long to get up in the air. <laughs> A little him? bit of rain up here. Oh yeah. Now it's forty four fifty two going to departure. See ya. Four four five two version. Listen, 19090, I'm going to park to contact Copenhagen approach, frequency 119, that doesn't relate. Inside call, 1904, I'm take off, Merry Christmas. After departure, contact approach 119, decimal 8, winds calm, one way, four right, clear for takeoff. You have a Merry Christmas yourself, Western Night Daddy. One way. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, John Cabo 512, establish no. right left one way zero four left. No, 512, Castle Tower, hello, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, it's an end, it's a clamp. Land on Location on the reserve for left for air, I'll 
Ich glaube, ich kann von Tu. Tu in einer 7 hat er am frischen Heading Theater Liss von Way 04 Lift, vor dich treffen. Der frischen Heading Theater von der Liste von der Liste von der And departure Westwind 1990s with you out of 2,500 for 7,000. Westjet 1990 curve and angular position identified passing 2,800 feet. Climb flight level 1990 and via a left turn proceed direct north pole. Climb maintain 1990 and proceed direct. Uh, what was the waypoint? Uh, no pole, thank you. Westwind 1990. up above the clouds. Spurred yeah, 03, you think you can follow, welcome aboard. Uh, for the ATG available, one at June from 1 to 2, that's the late night. 1 to 2, that's the long day, 39, 44, 52, America, since we're using the thing, because we're out of the night. Ich bin der Motor, das ist das IMF, der war vorlegt. Ich bin der Motor, das ist das Hotel, das kann ich sagen, 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 das kann ich sagen. Ich möchte jetzt mal meinen Motor, ich fliege direkt auf. Ja, wir haben gerade, als wir updated die FMS, wir versuchen, auf den Track zu kommen, also wir sind direkt jetzt. Castle Approach, hello, right, 6, 7, Zulu, Charlie, out of the music, go for a ride. Seven, Zulu, yeah, I'm still going to go to the evening, I'm going to try passing, uh, 1,600 feet, climb, flight level 1, line or so, and by a right turn, proceed direct to the scenic. And I take 7 Zulu Charlie climbing flight level 190 and right turn direct to Mac. Thank you. And landing lights off. Oops. Ten checks, make sure pressurization is working, it appears to be. No lights. Accelerate up and disconnect that. Turn that off. big air aircraft coming into this airport. What was that? Into Tromso. What about it? Like, all I really seen was like, you know, the, the sky. 
schedule for today and the Google Maps and all that. There's a lot of dash eight. Well, yeah, it's it's only a six thousand five hundred foot runway <laughs> for landing. Uh, it's got a di- it has a displaced uh, threshold, so <laughs> it's got. Eight thousand uh, foot runway without the thresholds. Yeah. All right, we'll switch over to Unicom. Thanks for the help. You have a Merry Christmas. What's the night ninety? I don't think I said before we named on that day. It's a very, like, small airport. Yeah. It's nestled amongst the snowy mountains. It's pretty cool. Could you guys have a down on that? Oh, hey, Mark. Hey Mark, how you doing? Hey Moose, how you doing? Doing well, just uh, jetting out of Copenhagen. Okay. I just thought I'd stop by and say hey and see how things are going. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while, so. <laughs> Hi, and how you doing? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm getting ready and trying to get set up for Christmas here. We're almost ready to go. Oh, nice. Where are you? Uh, where are you going? We're not going anywhere. Everybody's coming to us. We're grandma and grandpa. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You're the you're the hub this year. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we've we've taken on that mantra. So it's like everybody's coming. You know, we have a grandchild now, so it's like uh, uh, first Christmas. So we got a lot going on. Oh, that's cool, man. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Good for you. Yeah, I posted on the forum what I plan plan on doing uh, it's actually tomorrow night and Monday night. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Let's see if going to do it. Or is it gonna... Yeah, that's okay. Do you mind if I make that announcement here? No, go right ahead. Yeah, I will be doing the 48 Hours of Christmas event um, for the airline taking off of uh, Paul and GAA in Tahiti. We'll be crossing the international date line and landing in at Christmas Island in Kibachi, Cassidy International Airport. It will be Christmas Day when we land. And then Monday night, same time, I'm going to take off from Christmas Island and return to Tahiti. It'll be Christmas Day again when we land in Tahiti. Awesome, man. Smart idea. And also, um, I'll be uh, trying something a bit new. Um, one of my old um, recording softwares um, got a beta live uh, feed. Um, I used to use Plays TV to record offline and then post it on YouTube. But now they got a live feed, but I have to post a link in TeamSpeak right before I fly because it seems like it changes the link every time. Hmm. So that'd be a test. Why did my thing stop following the LNAV? What's going on here? Well, we'll be using the default 737. Copy that. What's Tahiti's uh, ICAO? Uh, the uh, main one is NTAA, November Tango Alpha Alpha. And the other one is uh, Papa Lima Charlie Hotel. Yeah. That's where we should have flown. It's eight hours. From New Zealand to Christmas Island. Perhaps, but I wanted to do snow. <laughs> I only uh, figured um, three, like 3.8 hours each way. I was thinking LAX, so to he is eight hours. Oh, Wait, yeah. Well, yeah, from LA, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what is, let's see what that. Is it 
Short accuracy is the airport capable of triple seven traffic. NTAA is. Well, I already know if it's as big as what's in uh, Midway, I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, NTAA, I've gotten a seven four in there, no problem. So. Oh yeah, easy. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll try seven and four won't go in past the island though. Yeah, they're, the flights from LA are typically uh, A340s that go go to there, so. Well, it's only the only airline that flies from. Uh, I've gotten the A380 into Tahiti. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I probably won't fly it for West, uh, Western Colors just for the fact that I'm still, neat, I'm still in a terrible point. But I might just tag along and have some fun. Gotcha. It depends uh. on scheduling such. Yeah, just FYI for everybody, uh, Christmas Island, Cassidy. Dimensions of the runway there are 6,896 feet by 148. Uh, it's a hard surface runway. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe they do have an instrument approach, but it's only an NDB approach. Correct. You gotta brush up on your NDB skills if you're gonna do that. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's do a visual. GPS. Uh, Man, I'll go to the NDB approaching the GPS and go for it. There you go. Well, I'm a thousand feet from our cruise. We got to do three four zero, and then we have an hour and a half or an hour forty five minutes of cruising. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm at. I'm just passing twenty eight five right now myself. All right. What in the name? It's all this stuff got changed somehow. How did that happen? And actually, uh, from Tahiti to Honolulu, 738 used uh, Christmas Island as a refueling stop. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what that flight's like. It's just a lot of water. Yeah. And it's Monday? That would be, yeah, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Yeah, kind of the, kind of the other way around, so it's kind of neat. Well, most of the had. I have, I got this one load to Fresno. What is going on in the background? Every time I hear your background, I hear this high pitch. Sound like a monkey laughing. Oh, I'm watching the video too. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like what the crap? It is a monkey laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains it. <laughs> Actually, it's a moose laughing. Uh, mooses don't laugh like that. I can. If you, if you change yeah. the video pitch, it does. I can attest to that. Like, how should you know what a moose sounds like? The last. Because I am a moose. Boom. Hey there, Snow Merry Dog. Christmas. How you doing, Chris? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Merry Christmas to you. Really glad to hear about your uh, your new job you start Wednesday. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. I'm looking forward to it. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Order playing American Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator. What was that, Crypto? Order playing me playing American Truck Simulator, it's American, it's American Truck Miss. American Truck Miss? Uh, of course it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be, the. this route will take us up um, just over, well, a little bit over the uh, Arctic Circle point. So we'll be in the uh, Arctic North, technically. That's the Polar, polar Aviation Series? Yeah, well, no, it's just that we're doing this for Christmas, going up to... There was an event last week on VATSIM called Fly and See Santa, which included this airport that we're going to, uh, Kiruna in Sweden, and or Rovani or something like that in Finland. I can't remember the name of the airport now. Uh, all three airports are are above the Arctic Circle. Actually, the one in Finland is like right at the Arctic Circle line. Um, 
And so I thought it would be fun to do that flight, but I wasn't able to do it then because I had something going on. So I figured uh, we'd do the, the Fly and See Santa route as the last uh, stream before Christmas. So I figured that was an appropriate time to do it. There's the Milky Way out the uh, left side of the aircraft there. You can see out in the distance in the night sky. We're going to see if we get some uh, Aurora Borealis as we get closer to the Arctic Circle. I don't know if we will. I tested it last night and was able to see it, and it was awesome. So I'm really hoping we get it tonight, too, but we'll see. It may have to happen closer to um, uh, to uh, dawn, you know, where, like twilight kind of thing, just because of where the sun is, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure how the mechanics of that work. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, oh well, but... But it was Captain really, Jim, how it are was you? really cool. Well, I'm doing well. You finally up in the Merry air? Merry Christmas, sir. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you, Chris. Yeah, I'm airborne. Cool. It was fun. I had to follow the Ryan Air guys out. No, oh, that's always fun. <laughs> did you end up uh, sticking with the 7-1, or did you go to something else? I'm still with the 717. Okay. I just figured it was an issue with the Orbex update that had to be uh, oh. done. Gotcha. What are you going to be cruising at today? I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what are you cruising at today? Yeah, uh, three three zero. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So, Mark, how have you been? Yeah, well, getting ready for Christmas, trying to get things working and everything like that. We've got everybody coming over tonight, finish out decking the tree. We're late because we all uh, we all caught colds and we didn't want to pass it on to the to the newest one. Oh, yeah. So it was like, yeah. So that's why. Yeah, there's been a lot of that going around. How long you been up in the air? Uh, we're well. I'm just getting to cruise right now. So well, in, in about a thousand feet. So not that long. Uh, we took off at uh, 1909, I believe, was on the chrono when I saw. So I need to make a note of that. Uh, so we've been in the air for uh, uh, just about 20 minutes, actually. At least I have. Uh, Rothmuller's been in the air a little bit longer because he got off first. Uh, Mayo was just ahead of me. He would have been off a lot earlier, but he had an engine problem on, on takeoff, so he stopped and tried again and ended up taking off right before me. And then Tim is behind me because he had a, his sim crash, so he got a little bit behind. So he was he was just starting his taxi as we were starting our roll. So. David, how's your flight going? Uh, fine. What'd you end up cruising at? 360. Oh, okay. What's your uh, What's your estimated time of arrival in uh, in Tromso? Twenty fifty eight Zulu. Twenty fifty eight. Okay, so you're about a half an hour ahead of us then, because we're twenty one twenty nine is what it's saying right now for me. Oh man, Kevin, that's uh, yeah. That's an all-day flight. What is that, like a 15-hour flight? Sydney to San Francisco? City by the bay?
Uh, 13 ish. Oh, that's right, because you got the. Uh, you're going to have tailwinds generally going there, so that's a better way to do it. <laughs> well, say it should be about that long. Yeah, it says it's about 13 ish uh, towards San Francisco. It's about 15 going back, and that sounds about right. It was about. It was. When we went to Israel, it was about 15. Um, I think it was about. No, it was it was 14 to Israel, and it was about 15 and a half back because we were going against the winds. I've got a question for Mayo. For Mayo? Yes. I'm sorry, what? Roth Miller has a question for you. Go ahead. What are your current winds? Uh, I don't. I'm too lazy to check. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. I'm showing 45 out of the uh, out of the north uh, northwest. I'm showing. Yeah, I've got two nine or five at three zero. I'm showing two eight zero at five four. And mine's not sophisticated enough to give me a heading. It just shows me an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a heading? That's right. Uh, Kevin, what uh, what VA are you on? Uh-huh. <laughs> now seriously, what, what VA are you fine for? No judgment. Unless you're flying for, like, virtual value jet or something. That, then I have to judge you, probably, but... Elite Premier? I don't think I've ever heard that one. I'm gonna look oh, that up. Oh, I know who they are. I'm French with people over there. <laughs> Every time I switch over to you when you talk, I'm just laughing in the background. It sounds funny. It sounds like like you've got a constant laugh track going. It's hilarious. <laughs> Why am I in chat? Who's coming in from Elite Premier? Uh, that's Kevin, or Kythrick in chat. I'll be. Give me two minutes. There we go. I found it. Speaking of horrid flights, I saw one today. Speaking of horrible flights, what did you see? It was Spirit Airlines flying from Reykjavik or Kalflavik to Detroit. Oh. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> it was odd because it was flying under uh, an N number instead of a, a Spirit number, so I, I'm thinking it's a delivery flight. Oh, it could be. Okay, so first of all, kudos to the to the livery designer for this. This is cool. I like the paint job. It's nice, and especially kudos. I'm digging the penguin. I I, I do like penguins. That's that's pretty awesome. That your your uh, logo there includes a penguin with a crown. That's that's pretty awesome. I, yeah, I like that too. I'm digging that. Mark, we need to integrate a penguin into our logo somehow. <laughs> Well, you're the livery boss. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you all heard it. I just I'm got a green light for a penguin. <laughs> yeah, that sounds ah, like just... a green light to me. <laughs> <laughs> On your 25-year logo, you just have a penguin. It's just a giant penguin, yeah. Why the penguin? I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> Arctic. All the Arctic air could have a penguin on the news. Yes. <laughs> I'd hold out for a polar bear. A polar bear. A moose. Uh, a moose. Yeah, exactly, a moose. Moose, I was just going to say that you've integrated everything else. Why not a penguin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. See oh, but it has to be. It has to be West Wind colors. Yes. So it'd be a 
a red and blue and white penguin instead of a black and white penguin. <laughs> or black and blue, that works. Don't be beating thinking, up penguins. <laughs> I'm thinking Burgess Meredith. <laughs> penguin abuse. Reloading map data in 25 seconds. Well, that's helpful, but there's no map data. What the heck? No, oh, I guess that one doesn't really work. Yeah, that's cool. I, uh, pilot roster, rank requirements, notification. Our services. Things we do around here. Virtual flight training, group flights and hop sessions. Aviation tools and resource nurse support. They have a team speak and I have the IP to it. <laughs> it sounds very nefarious. <laughs> uh, it's not a group. He's tearing it up over there. You don't like the color scheme? I think it looks cool. I used to. It, oh, it used to be red and black. That's pretty. I, well, it it stands out. I'll I'll give him that. But it's. I mean, just the way it's designed, and you can. I mean, I've seen some pretty like ugly aircraft schemes that people have done for virtual airlines. This is very well done. It's 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 slick looking. It looks professional. It's it's cool. It's a good combo of the colors. I actually really like the kind of the gradient fade of the the yellow to the dark right there. That's cool. Really, it's just the penguin. I, I honestly, that's. <laughs> it could have been an, it could have been anything, but that penguin there would have saved it. So you know, in my mind. <laughs> kind of looks like UPS. It kind of does in in a little way. Yeah, you're right. It kind of does. I think it's this right here. It's that it's that yellow to black that really gives that because it's that. Gives you gives you that brown, but with the yellow too. Well, that's cool. Elite Premier Air. The flying penguins. Oh, I'm gonna go grab a sandwich. I'll be back. Okay. Now I want a sandwich. <laughs> One down, nineteen to go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, I need to go and do my weekly grocery shopping in Aaron, so All right, well you I'll got catch you guys later. You got just under two hours to get back to make it for the landing. Uh, the only aircraft oh, livery I have that I don't like at all is the West Wind Ember one hundred seventy five. What is that? I need to look that up and see what that looks like. Who who painted that one? Because it wasn't me, because I don't have the Embraer. Uh, let's see. Westwind Fleet. Embraer. 175. Where are you at? I see you. Oh, there you are. Someone's oh. about to be outed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh so, this, this was one. This actually got a lot of popularity on the Westwind forums. I have never personally liked the gradient, and there's some people that love the gradient. I am not one of them. The the red all the way to to the blue like that with the the gradient changeover. I I just have never liked it. Um, there are some people that absolutely love it. There's uh, uh what is it? KLM did a version kind of like this with theirs that goes from their orange to the blue. I think that looks stupid too. Uh, <laughs> that's just me. Some people love it, some people hate it, and that's the nature of, you know, artistic stuff is people are going to love and hate, whatever, but um, I just never, there was people pushing it for this to become our official livery for a while, and I was kind of in the background going, please no, please no, please no. <laughs> uh, I feel like saying the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> well, you should. Yeah, I'm okay with the lower picture in there, but I'm, I'm like you, I don't like that upper one. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too hot on this either. I mean, this is cool for the whole classic uh, look the like the the throwback look, which I'm I'm cool with from that perspective, um, but yeah, it just this actually isn't. I, I think this isn't that bad with the fact that they did the giant billboard on it. I think that helped, but um, yeah, if this was tiny up here, this would look really bad in my opinion. Uh, but actually, I think if you're gonna do this, I think this was the best way to do it with the big giant billboard west wind across. But um, but yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. Some people love it. I'm not one of them. And that's okay. I mean, a default, like the default color scheme would have been probably better. 
Yeah, it would. Well, it probably would have been nice if whoever painted that had done both, and they may have done it that way because the the texture mapping on the Embraer was like impossible to work with to do the swoosh. And if that's the case, then you know what? It is what it is. So um, that's what you get. Some of these some of these paint maps on some of these aircraft just make it really difficult to do our paint scheme on it, and then you just kind of have to do your best to come up with something that's that'll work. So. So I understand from that perspective. And again, like I said, at the time when that was coming out, when some people were trying that one, that was one that got a lot of traction on the forums from people saying, ooh, yeah, we really like that. And so um, so I know Kim did a few like that to kind of throw them a bone. And, um, but, yeah. but yeah, I'm not a fan of that personally. But yeah, it's okay. It is what it is. I am what I am. The livery boss has spoken. The livery boss has spoken, that's right. The livery boss is the triple seven. The moose is in charge now, so. <laughs> the moose needs the triple seven, so I can pester him for paying a dirt cut. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm actually probably going to get the triple seven here pretty soon. So I got my Christmas bonus, and I'm looking at what I'm going to spend it on. Now that I'm, the last couple, the last several years I've, I've gotten my Christmas bonus, I've either been paying off debt, or I've been saving up for the car, or been trying to pay, trying to fund the emergency fund, so that's all ready to go, so my financial stuff is all in order, so all that stuff is done now, so when I get extra money now, it's kind of like, oh, it's play money. So, it's kind of nice. <laughs> he actually got a bonus, that makes me jealous. Oh, I know. <sighs> How is the Moose Mobile? Is it fixed? Oh, from the accident, you mean? Yep. Yes. Um, shout out to uh, Hedrix Collision, who uh, who did the work. They did a superb job. So, uh, yeah. I will be taking any other collided vehicles there from now on, because they do excellent work. Um, but, yeah, no, they got that done in September, mid-September. So I'm just waiting. I'm actually still waiting for the uh, reimbursement check for the my out-of-pocket for the rental car. Uh, insurance covered the first part of the rental car, which is under my policy. And when that ran out, then it becomes on me, which they would get reimbursed from his insurance because it was all his fault. It, it was his fault. And so when they submitted, I've been I called them a few weeks ago because I'm like, I still never got this check. What the heck? And uh, I got a voicemail back saying, hey, whoever submitted the paperwork submitted everything except that. And so they were resubmitting it with that. So hopefully I'll get that check in a few weeks. But, uh, yeah, that's the only thing left outstanding from the uh, from the accident. It hasn't been resolved. Everything else has been a, been a breeze. And my insurance company did a wonderful job. So I'm happy. I'm happy. So Orlando for Flight Simcon next year. Fun, fun. Yep. Uh, both uh, Tim and I have our registrations uh, all set for that. Um, I don't know anyone else on here that's going yet, but uh, I encourage you all, if you have the means, to do it. It'll be fun. We can meet up. Uh, Chris D. is planning to go. I know that. He's going to actually tying his family vacation into, uh, I think they're trying to go to Disney World or something like that around the same time, and so they're going to stop at Flight Sim Expo so he can hang out and say hi to Tim and I, and um, we'll see. And now that uh, Chris has, has his new job, maybe uh, he'll be able to make it. We'll see. I don't know. No, I'm not going to be able to make it this year. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Gotcha. Well, we will miss you. I'll miss you guys, too. I would totally come if it was in Tulsa. I don't feel like it's going to be in Tulsa ever. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a, a hot area to go to. I would go for in like San Diego Dallas. or LA. That's true. Well, they, they had the other one in Dallas. That's, that's, I wonder if Dallas is probably going to be like a, a no-no now only because of the bad blood between Flight Sim Con and Flight Sim Expo. Now what would be good is either LA or San Diego. Yeah. How is there bad blood between the same, the same time type thing? Well, so no, the, the Flight Sim Expo was created out of a 
uh, a lack of appreciation for how Flight Sim Con was being run, the guys that started what became Flight Sim Con, um, it because it started as a group of um, primarily, I think the um, what's happening here? Hang on, think of a oh center field break. Uh, it started out as a group of the. Um, Boston air traffic controller things getting together, I think, is from what I understand. And then it kind of grew, and they started inviting other people to it, and they, they, it, it eventually became more of a conference because it became for anybody, flight sim enthusiasts, they got people to come and uh, represent from the different, uh, uh, you know, uh, vendors and things like that. So um, six years ago now, because I think this last year was the fifth year, or maybe the one before that, I think the one in Hartford, the last one in Hartford, I think, was the fifth year. So, at a certain point, it became Flight Sim Con officially, and it grew in the Aviation Museum over there at, at Hartford at Bradley. They moved it for the first time the year I went to the Sheraton at Bradley because of space, because they were outgrowing the museum. And after that conference, they kind of made the decision. And, and at that point, I think for either that year or the year before, uh, they had kind of given control of the conference to an outside group that kind of ran it, that, that ran conferences and that kind of thing. And so they were in charge of doing that. Well, they had a meeting with all the vendors and all of the all the support guys uh, during that conference near the end talking about the next year. And it kind of became out unanimous. The recommendation was, yeah, we want to do this in Vegas next year. So then the Flight Sim Con organizers just unilaterally said, no, we're going to do it in Dallas. And they already kind of had some things they didn't like about how the conference was being run. So the, the kind of guys that originally started it kind of said, all right, fine, we're just going to start our own again, and we're going to do our own thing. And all the vendors and stuff ended up coming to theirs. So it ended up kind of taking away a lot of the 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 firepower of Flight Sim Con, it, and it became Flight Sim Expo in Vegas. So... Flight SimCon still happened uh, about two weeks later in Dallas, and there I heard there was probably about 150, maybe 200 people there, compared to the I think it was like 1,300 or 1,400 people that were in Vegas. So um, it was you know, and they didn't have nearly the vendors and stuff that were there. It was more of a like cockpit builders kind of a thing and some other stuff. So it was probably okay. It probably wasn't that bad, but. Um, it just wasn't what I was looking for anyway, and so that's why I went to Expo instead of... I had registered for Con because it came out, and I bought my flight and the whole thing, and then it was like a month later, Flight Sim Expo gets announced, and I'm like, wait, what's that? Because <laughs> this had been the first time I went to Flight Sim Con, and I was like, I'm doing this every year now, and so when it came out to register, I'm like, yeah, let's go, and like, what, what what's happening here? And then I found out the backstory and ended up canceling my airline ticket, my hotel reservation in... Uh, Dallas and just went to Vegas. So, hey Kelsey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. We are 668 miles away from our destination. Up in Norway. Flying through the night. I'm playing with a lot of rugged terrain, which will make uh, an approach pretty. Yeah, I actually checked out the airport last night in the uh, the F-18, or whatever that is. No, the F-22, the, the default P-3D one. Because I was just trying to see if the Northern Lights would show up. It's a cool little area back in there. So it'll be a fun... It should make for a fun approach and and landing. I kind of wish I had discovered this airport a long time ago. Seems like there's a lot of islands in the area. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's the fjords, actually. Fell asleep last night during the final flight of the stream. <laughs> well, that explains why I you didn't say good night when I said good night. What'd you say, Crypto? 
Is that my train specific flight? I think it dozed off one time. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I like the I was, one thing, I look back up, I was circling over my hold points, like, oh, oops. <laughs> Whoops. Turn it in, like, landed, like, hey, it was like exactly 12 hours, though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, what was the hold for? Uh, planning. That's funny. And hopefully before hit off the home, I'll be grabbing a new headset to go with the new tower. Check something in my settings here real quick. Let's make sure something is set correctly. Okay, good. Are you kicking any star? No, it's just uh, TRC is the last waypoint or something like that. Um, TRO, T -TRO, TRO, yeah. Oh, I need to download the the uh, charts, though. I'm just going to do that in route. Should do that before I forget. Yeah, there are stars there, apparently, but it didn't give me one, so I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> fine. The last waypoint is a VOR, like right on the airport. Yeah, so we actually won't go to that waypoint. It'll be before that. It's just going to lead us to the thing. The uh, runway we're supposed to be expecting is 1-9. So that's the south-facing runway. Um, this is kind of goofy because it's upside down, but okay. Oh, no, I see. Never mind. Oh. Oh, no, there we go. I get it. Okay. Yeah, the... Uh, the VOR is... Um, it's actually just off to the side of the field, so it's actually um, to the northeast of the field on that little island area a little bit, but... Looks like the idea, though, is to come over the KV uh, NDB, the Valslund. Uh, NDB and head out for about uh, 10, 10 miles from TRO and then you turn uh, on to final approach at, uh, at Baxus and then come in. So cross KV at 5,000, at Baxus at 4,500, and then back over KV at 3,250 and down onto the, the glide slope. And it does have an ILS DME, so it's a 109.9 .9 for that, heading a 185. Transition altitude to 7,000 feet for Tromso. So, yeah. Did I miss anything? Not really. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Discussion on uh, the Flights and Expo. Oh, yeah. It was more just that they were curious on what had transpired between the Flights and Expo and Flights and Con. Ben heard the story before, apparently. And I don't have all the details. I just got what I got off of uh, FS Elite's uh, yeah. uh, Did, summary. Uh, is Flights and Con done? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Flights and Con this year yet. Um, let me check. My thinking is it probably is, but... Dun, dun, or not. <laughs> yeah, they, they may have screwed the pooch on that one. Yeah. No, there are, wow, they're, they are doing it again, according to this. Uh, they're doing it the same weekend as Flight Sim Expo. That seems really interesting. <laughs> um, Friday, June 7th to June 9th, and uh, 2019, venue to be announced. Topic to be featured. Look inside. Hmm. Oh, the top... Only a few, but some. what the heck? So the 2019 topic to be featured 
is a look inside FS Greed and Theft. It's only a few, but some individuals have it and do it. Experiences will be shared. <laughs> it's an interesting... Uh... <laughs> Wait, so it's about, like, wow. theft of aircraft? I, I, well, flight sim, like, greed and theft. So um, that would be pirating software. That would be... Uh, uh, probably developers that do shady things. It sounds like very negative. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> it's okay. Just how to avoid it, or what's been it, happening it, about it? It doesn't say, it says a look inside, so it's like just a look talking about it. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. It seems very weird. They'll, they'll have the guys from uh, the Airbus. Yeah, the, come in. the malware bus. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's really weird. What am I going to announce their venue? Because normally, they would have started the registration by now. Yeah, really. So. Oh well. Interesting. The topic isn't all that interesting either. That's what I'm saying. The topic. Well, the topic sounds downright depressing. <laughs> Like, it's just like, I, I mean, it, it, the, the topic would be interesting more so if I was a developer, I guess, to talk about, to probably talk about ways we could combat that. But as a, as a simmer, unless I'm one that is ripping the flight sim community off, at which point I'm not going to go, uh, it doesn't, like, apply to me. Like, what, what okay, like. I'm buying my stuff, so what the heck? <laughs> Clearly, flights are not going in that direction. Go. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I, I just because last year it wasn't a lot of developers; it was hardly any, actually. So. That was all the home cockpit guys last year, wasn't it? Primarily, yeah. Except for the crazy Australian. Right. No, they showed up at Expo. I want, to oh, meet, that's a I want to meet the guys from the uh, SimFest UK that had the 747 fixed base uh, that did the world flight. Uh, they were fun to watch. I want to I want to get in with those guys. <laughs> we should usually be into it to, to say you've flown in a home-built cockpit with 747 flying best wind. Wait, say that again because I didn't understand that. So I said that you want to do it to try and get into it to fly the west wind paint scheme on that. Oh, no, I'll fly there. I mean, they fly BVA. They're, it's uh, British Airways, but and um, I'll 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 comply with that. I don't care. I, I just I just want to fly a seven four seven like full cockpit style. <laughs> I wanted to say the triple seven. That's a different story. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice to know that Captain Theremin's back. Yep. <laughs> Although his mic has been sounding a lot better recently, so that's good. Well, that's better than it used to, anyway. Probably because I'm not running flights in and my stream software at the same time. Probably. Didn't we give him an instrument? An instrument? The theremin? Is that it? I don't know if yeah. theremin is an instrument. It, it's a Star Trek instrument. Well, it's, it was... It actually... I think it does technically exist. I've seen it on some other no, shows. It's, uh, yeah, it does. Uh, Beach yeah. Boys used it. That's right. So, but yeah, it's a weird like mix of these weird sounds. It's real goofy. <laughs> Welcome to Star Trek. Yeah, exactly. Just think the opening theme song of the original like 1960s version. Actually, I've I've seen one on TV. It's. Uh series of vertical rods that have an electrical field. Oh, okay. I saw, the one I saw was a, was a single vertical rod um, that, and it was, uh, because they featured it on the Big Bang Theory. They had th they had Sheldon playing it to <laughs> to annoy his roommates. <laughs> but it makes sense that there would be multiples, not just one. So you'd probably get more uh, tonal range. With a plethora of rods. Would you say that I have a plethora of theremins? Mm. 
Moose. Yes, sir. How's the Brana Project? The Brana Project is about to uh, get a shot in the arm because uh, now that the holidays have uh, finally arrived, I have uh, abundance of time. <laughs> and I still have your stuff uh, almost in a box there, Chris. <laughs> almost in a box. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All the for Captain has some hats. <laughs> I'm sure Captain has a has a triple seven hat somewhere in his collection. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't know. Here, I have a triple seven hat. Okay. <laughs> David, how far are you from your next waypoint? I am about forty-ish nautical miles from. Maybe. Well, are you sure? Because I'm from I'm 42. Well, yeah, um, you catching up to me. You're like right on me. I don't know how. My winds are right. So. What are your winds, Mail? Uh. Now there. They shifted. Mine are like two six seven at two five. And what are your two, winds? Six seven at two five. Yeah. Mine's what... zero three seven at six. Why is yours so off? <laughs> <laughs> it might be yours that are off. Um, what, uh, uh, David? Are you using like an active sky or something like that? Yeah. Should okay. Be connected. And Mayo, you're not right. You're just using default. Maybe. So it's probably yours that are off. <laughs> okay, what is the act? I'll just change it real quickly. 037 at 6 at my altitude. What altitude are yeah. you at, Mayo? 340. And what's your uh, Mach number? Point eight two. Okay. That also makes sense because I'm only going point nine four. What? Point nine four? Seven nine four, sorry. I was gonna say. <laughs> what is the winds again? Zero three eight at six. Zero three eight. Yeah, they oh, just updated. Yeah, thirty eight degrees at six, yeah. yeah. So it's a headwind? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we all have headwinds. You have a tailwind, apparently. <laughs> oh, my sense just special. Your sense I'm just showing 12 wrong. on the nose and 12 on the uh, crosswind. Yeah, I'm showing, I'm showing 12 uh, coming out of the northwest from my airplane. Pretty low uh, winds. Yeah, we're up in the north, the Arctic area, getting close to the Arctic, so the winds tend to change around a little bit. Where are the lights? What was that? Where are those lights? I don't see them yet. Look on your phone. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? With that? Like, what, what does my phone have to do with the lights? <laughs> well, if you looked at your phone, you would know. Oh, you sent me something. <laughs> oh, those lights. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, man. Holy crap. You know, Mayo, I think there's a way to have your uh, it's really hard weather to updated. Them. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. Minutes. You want to... So, Boeing had put it cool, out a few weeks ago. Boeing did the announcement? what? Boeing put out an announcement a few weeks ago. Saying? Their first Boeing 777X is slated to roll out the factory in 2019. Oh. Okay. It's just, and it's the static model, so the one that they use all the ground tests for. Yeah. The first one always is. I want to go see it, but I can't afford to.
Where'd my aircraft go? At some point, I'll own a Boeing triple seven hat. One way or another. <laughs> you know, just ask where your plane went. Well, yeah, no, I'm on Navigraph. I'm, I have a. It's supposed to show my aircraft on here, and it's not at the moment. It went away. Check the next chart. Uh, what? Take my what? Some charts don't show it. No, no, no. This, this, this is the global chart. It's not an individual oh. chart. I think Rex is really off. Yeah, I don't like Rex's weather engine. Well, that's the only thing I have. That's I use it for, what's it called? Air textures. But now it's saying my winds are 113 at... What the heck? It went away. Oh, no, it's back. 127 at 17. Server return. What? It's funky. So if you look on the uh, Project Fives radar, you see that there's two West 13565s and there's two Uniteds. There. Yeah. Because it doesn't update quick enough to remove the old one. Well, everybody have a good Christmas. I'll see y'all later. All right, Chris, you have a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Merry Christmas, hey. Chris. Thank you, Mayo. Hey, Moose. I'll probably give you a call between now and Christmas, okay? All right, sounds good, man. We'll be in touch. Take care, guys. I, All right, we'll see you, man. See you, Chris. I would give Mr. Christmas call, but I don't have his number. <laughs> oh. There's a what reason. What do you say? <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> uh, what did he say a minute ago? Oh, no. Crypto said I would give Moose a Christmas call, but I don't have his number. <laughs> And I said, oh. Take care. <laughs> All right, see you, man. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I wish they could do that on the, the sim. Yeah, right? Those are beautiful. What that is, is we're flying way north. And uh -huh. uh, the sun refracts through the atmosphere of the uh, ice crystals and it bends around the earth so yeah. you're in the middle of darkness all of a sudden the horizon just lights up blue oh that's cool where are you seeing this uh pictures tim sent me photos you he sent him to my There's phone so i can't <laughs> i don't have a way of broadcasting them. well no you can show it on screen i don't know if that's going to work very well what was that actually Tim, could you uh, send me this via Twitter? Hang on a second. I, I can send you them via Twitter, Crypto. Yay. Uh, then Crypto, you need to pass this on to me. That's my No. Friend. Well, yes. if you're following Encrypted on Twitter, so this then is, you see, if see it. This comes through here. Let me get it close enough. So that's cockpit right there. You see the blue. It's actually in the middle of the night, but that's the blue horizon lighting up from those ice crystals he was talking about. Who's that in the front? Tim's friend. I don't know. <laughs> I One of know. the twelve thousand seven hundred pilots we got. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can figure it out. You're a better man than me. Um, stand by. I I gotta ask Tim because I know you fly past here. If we're given the opportunity, would you ever fly cargo? I have flown cargo. Is that more no. fun? Absolutely not. <laughs> it pays more, though. No. I thought it we, oper we operated, I think, 12 7 4 freighters. And, uh,. That was right seat for a while on it. Right seat. No, I was just saying. I thought. So much term series called left life in the right seat. 
Anyway, the uh, <laughs> airline keeps very close track to what a freight operator or freighter is doing as far as time and performance versus a passenger plane. You don't miss your numbers with the uh, freighters. Alright, I sent you those, Crypto. Yep, just got them. Thanks, Miss. Yep. Crypto. Ooh, there's a, uh, a long streak in the clouds here. It's like someone was mowing the clouds and then stopped. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I was looking at that. I was wondering if that was a mountain stick. Yeah. Thing. I guess not. Nope. <laughs> Speaking of which, though, um, I did notice in the 4.4 update, was it? I think it was. They uh, they fixed the moose trench in Iran. They actually mentioned it. The big uh, the big trench in the middle of Iran that we flew over back when we were doing the world flight over so that there. That wasn't a scenery glitch. It was not. It was a well. It was actually. I mean, it was, but it was something that was in everybody's scenery apparently. Um, and so they fixed it in 4.4. <laughs> Dang it! But they actually called it out. They talked about the giant trench in in Iran. And I was like, oh, the moose trench. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after this, I'm literally going to go through and fly it. They, fly through it. They filled it. So you have to fly it before you uh, before you upgrade, because otherwise it'll be gone. <laughs> well, was this uh, was this Orbix? No, this was um, this was P3D. It's, it's actually in the sim. Um, let me see if I can find it here real quick. Stand by. Oh, be quiet. Don't give me that nonsense. You have coordinates to it. They didn't call it the Moose Trench. Did well, no, no, the, no, I called it the Moose Trench. <laughs> that would have been funny if they had called it the Moose Trench. Yeah, really. <laughs> that's, a, that's extremely arrogant. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, let's see here. I lay claim to this trench, and therefore, uh, let's see, Creator Studio. Claimed in the name, or claimed in the, uh, for the, in the name of West Wind, right? That's right. Of course. I, I come bearing the West Wind flag wherever I go. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, load you dumb thing. You know what pays more than, than commercial and cargo? Fighting fires. Actually, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It depends, Please. especially yes. In <laughs> California, they pay a lot for it. That's because California, California gets so much training and so much everything else. There's a lot of specialties out there. Hey, we use 747 to ruin my fires. moment? I like the firefighting Apache gunship. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> I like the I like the world super tank. Oh. Yeah, I saw that in YouTube where the Forest Service uses Apaches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you at? Somewhere. Okay, that's oh, um, what was UBB? That was. I think it might have been the flight back from that. I think that was Baku. Uh, where's my map? Google. Maps. Come on. Zoom out. It's probably last year. No, it was it was this year. But I'm just trying to figure out what video it was. Okay, there's Baku. Because it was from back. We flew from Baku over into... Uh, where'd we go? Oh, it was there's a huge it was hole from, right by Lansing Airport yeah, in Michigan, too, at that one Oh, time. really? It was from Baku to Dubai. That's, that was the flight. So that's it right there. Whoops. Come back. So that's it right there. OMDB. Oh, no, no, no. So it was... That's that one. It was from UBBB, then. Okay. So where's that one? This one. That's Karachi. Yeah, okay, that's it. Karachi's Pakistan. Pakistan. No, I know, but we flew over 
Iran to get there from uh, Baku. Hey, Moose, I think uh, Burger, who's in your chat, got really bored of our flight last night. Well, she fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. All right. Well, you Let's get that guy from England back. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> guy. If you don't know, you don't want to know. Oh, Wanna I think know. I see it. I see it. I see the trench. He actually made crypto sound pleasant. All right, here's the trench, guys. Flashback to uh, the days of the trench. So there it is. Big old giant swath right through the middle of Iran. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey look, I'm back at my old house. <laughs> Before I moved. The Moose Trench. This is me trying to look up where it is, probably. That was a great movie. <laughs> That's the in-flight movie. Yeah? We just watch other flights that I've done. <laughs> you, you never saw Back in the World? Back in the World? Uh-uh. Great movie. Yeah, see, it's just a big old long cut. It's like the Death Star Trench. If you fly to the end of this thing, I think you can destroy Iran. Mm hmm. A little photon torpedoes place, just so. Well, I'm gonna miss it. But, yeah. Yeah, okay. there's an access port two meters wide. <laughs> exactly. If you got some practice just... uh, t targeting Womp Rats in your T 62, then you should be fine. Is it just me, or is the. Uh... Face cam in that video bigger than right now. Uh, it's a different uh, position. So the the back in those days the well, actually no I guess that one was looking straight on I'd moved it that, by that point. Uh, it's the exact same camera though so I don't know if a setting got changed or what but no the orientation looks different it did. Well the orientation the orientation is probably a cause I think the the monitor had to sit lower back then or something or higher because I had the the way the desk is, this big uh, part up here was sitting right over this, and so I couldn't. I had restrictions on height. Uh, the way the room's set up now, that piece is over off to the side over here because the window's not over here anymore, so it Ooh, doesn't set block tour. it. Set so. up tour. I already, I've done this before, but okay. No, you have it. I have, but okay. Here we go. I'm, I think I'm, he took a photo and tweeted I'm, it. I'm picking you up. Oh, I did that too. This the cable's not very long. So that thing, that big uh, top of the desk right there, was over here, on top of the sitting on top of the computer. So ah! <laughs> All right, I'm putting you back now. Boxes. Yeah, boxes. Those are my roommates. Those aren't mine. For Christmas. Yeah, those aren't mine. Those are my roommates. It's a bunch of stuff that he's had since his childhood that he's slowly trying to sell on eBay. So. That's, That's a sad statement. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, he's got Sell a lot of childhood on eBay. Oh, I know, yeah. I know, right? Well, when you've got a, it's a bunch of collecting, collective stuff that he doesn't, he just wants to try to make money off of, I guess. So, whatever. Whatever. You're set up. What was that? What'd you say, Mel? I like your setup. Oh, it's very nice. I like it. It works for me. All right, we got about an hour left in the flight, it looks like, according to my uh, progress data. Uh, hour and ten. We got the sky trenches going on here. It's like Morse code. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> Remembering no, that, that the was trench. from uh, Stevie can't fly, trying to make landings in the sky. Ah. Just displaced the pads. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> all I do, all I can picture is that one guy, the with the really whacked out hair from the meme, from the History Channel. Aliens. <laughs> the clouds are remembering the moose trench. That's right. It's an homage. The farewell to moose trench. Fix that and broke three other things. Yeah, probably. 
We flatten the Himalayas. Yeah, exactly. The Himalayas are inverted now. Nobody will mind. <laughs> now you can go fly into a cone. Yay! Cone flying. That'd be kind of interesting, actually. It would be interesting. It'd be a trip. <laughs> One way trip. Well, that. Unless. seen any of my uh, auroras yet. Uh, let's oh, I have a, a teespring now. <laughs> you have a what now? Teespring. What's that? Like you can like, create shirts, mugs, or anything, like little clickable things. Oh. So I have two encrypted pilot mugs for sale. One's okay. red, one's blue. Wait, 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 wait. So you're going to create a line called Crypto Collectibles? Well, yes Encrypted no. collectibles? No, Crypto Collectibles rolls out the tongue better. If it was crypto collectibles, this would be like certain things, but I will. Uh, the crypto collectibles series will be once I get like more people and the select line thing. Crypto collects. Great, I need more weight in my trunk. For the <laughs> exactly. Help your traction. You can, buy, you can buy a mug for 10 bucks. The new crypto collectibles are now on sale. Get them now before they're gone. Will they be gone? Probably not. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Sorry. Uh, Project Fly, why are you stuck in Detroit? I'm not over there. these people a couple of BAs coming over from uh, Europe oh it's same guy never mind never mind all right let's move over here Turn off Pilot Edge, I don't need to see that. Let's turn off IVAO. So that does not apply to me. <laughs> I think you should change it from uh, name of the mug. Looks like there's some people up in uh, Tromso at the moment. Scandinavia. Zerk. That's like an interesting name. Kind of a cool name, actually. Three of them and a few thousand caribou. Yeah, that's right. We have a giraffe today in the back, if you're wondering. I was not, but okay. <laughs> I wonder what a giraffe would think when he opens the door <laughs> stuck in northern Norway <laughs> it's perfect you like cold environments really get yeah, a lot of, the, the get Arctic a lo giraffe get a lot of cold environments down on the Sahara do they <laughs> yeah only when they migrate yeah oh my god I guess be an idea oh Open no Photoshop time oh no we created a monster I'm waiting for the uh, West Wind ground support equipment myself. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And the Jaguar team bus. Yes, yeah, so that's that's for next year because that'll. So are we going to try and do some GSX uh, ground support equipment, livery god? Livery. <laughs> okay, can we add that to my title, please? <laughs> 
are not worthy, delivery god. <laughs> I just all I think of when I hear that is uh, is sled god from Cool Runnings. It's sled god. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like if to I see if we can make the GSX aircraft do a do a West Wind paint for them. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I figure if we can get GSX liveries for West Wind. Uh, I'll call you anything you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't call me late for dinner. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that problem here either. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't sound like a very enthusiastic laugh for the livery god. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> All hail the livery god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a new religion you're to turn over or something. Yeah, right. I really want to. I need to make an emoticon of like one of those little tiki statues now. Call it livery god. Please don't. I kind of want oh, to geez. now. That just gave me a really fun idea. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. Searching giraffe on Google. Well, when we're in cruise, I'm gonna Photoshop some of you guys. Moose loves my Photoshop. Oh no. Are you Photoshopping like 777 engines onto a giraffe now? Is that what's happening? Damn it. <laughs> Did I guess it? I'm changing the idea. <laughs> Make the giraffe seven thirty seven. All right, stand by. I'm gonna go get my uh, my laptop here for a minute. Okay, there we go. No, I just feel that if we can get GSX liveries, I'll call them anything he wants. Leave that as a surprise. You need you need to uh, raise your sights a little bit there. I'm thinking gate skins as well. Yeah, I don't know how the heck we do that. What well, gates? GSX is uh, painting on the the. Uh, how what do you call those? The white ones, for you to customize. Oh, okay. I could probably do that. Yeah, get together a little project here that basically goes through and does GSX so that we can download all that stuff and load it up. It would look cool. Well, the only problem is you couldn't share it. I guess you could. Yeah, you can if you can if you can figure out how to customize or or uh, string it together because you can put for the for the GSX stuff you can put in. A customized skin for it so if you could do it for the for the for the equipment I would imagine you probably do it for the gates too yeah you could I'm just saying that somebody on the outside who didn't have it on their PC wouldn't see it unless you were like looking at a stream 
Well, they would have to, you know, basically what they would have to do is they would have to have GSX in order to be able to do it. Be just like the skin on an add-on aircraft. Yeah, but wouldn't they also have to have the textures within their sim? Well, what we do is we do the we do the textures and then modify them so that we can download them to our uh, website and people can basically upload them from there. Yeah, so to do that, they'd have to do that. That's probably what they'd have to do. But just a casual user who's not affiliated with Westwind wouldn't have it. Unless we hacked uh, something. Incentive to join. There you go. You can have it if you join. Uh, have what? No, no, we're talking about you, not to you. <laughs> yeah. Behind your back, no less. <laughs> You'll just have to go back and replay the stream there, Moose. I guess. I heard some of it through the headset when I was yeah, we, plugging stuff in, but... I heard the uh, the conspirators. It sounded like a Julius Caesar situation going on. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. <laughs> Getting even for the uh, Caesar's Palace. Yeah. <laughs> Way to bring it around. Well done, Tim. Way to bring it around. <laughs> yeah, what's it called? What's it called when somebody leaves a leaves a uh, uh, a hidden gem in your video? There's a, there's a Easter term egg. for it. Easter yeah, egg. Yeah. Easter egg. There you go. We left you one. <laughs> a giant smelly Easter egg. <laughs> Right, we're going to get you strikes on YouTube because of it. <laughs> yeah, great. You know, I thought of you, Moose, when I was driving home with my 20 hamburger patties. The uh, <laughs> That doesn't bode well. <laughs> the, uh, NPR, I think it was NPR, might have been the BBC, had a half-hour discussion on people are monetize their uh, YouTube and the changes in the rules and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some interesting things coming down the pike, especially with regards to the European, European Union, Union stuff. stuff. Is on. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I like draft so much. Why I like giraffes so much. Why you like giraffes? Yeah, I don't know either. Um, Stabilizer Motion. I love the name, by the way. Uh, are you going to stream the Fly the MD83 or 88 tomorrow? Oh, I didn't realize it was being released tomorrow. That's cool. Um, uh, no, this is the la this is the last stream f uh, until Christmas uh, because tomorrow, uh, well, Saturday is typically the last day I stream for the week. Tomorrow's week, Christmas. So. No, tomorrow's not Christmas. Um, but I will be getting the MD83 uh, and 88. 
once it's released. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. But I do love the the Mad Dog. They they did a superb job on this aircraft. Uh, let's see here. Where is my? No. 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 I'm trying to remember where I find the settings for this. I don't know. Oh, it might be in here. Click on that. Yes, there we go. That's helpful. There we go. Place. Actually. Um, I don't know how much the expansion is yet. I just am assuming I'll probably get it. Can't imagine. Since it's just an expansion, I can't imagine it would be that much. Alright, I'm coming up on my top of descent. Is it going to require the first map? Probably. If it's an expansion, I would, yeah. 165. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Really, when you think about drafts, are just big dogs. What? I don't know about that. Right. Well, they're mammals. And that's about where the similarities end. Pretty much. It's a zebra with a thyroid condition. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I just realized there's a tower online. Really? But not for. Oh, I don't see it yet. Yeah, um. Uh, Ravani is online, but that's in Finland. Hey. No, for Tromso. Yeah, well, no, I, I just can't see it from where I'm at. Oh, no, yes, I can. There it is. EMTC. That's awesome. I, I think we should all go in as NATO bombers. <laughs> How much time off do you get this week, Moose? Um, this week I'm only got I only have Christmas Day off uh, this week, this next week. But um, next week I'm taking New Year's, basically the New Year's Day and the the complete week. So, um, so I'll only work Monday the following week, and then I'll be off until Sunday. Which will be nice, because I typically don't take a lot of time off at the holidays, and I thought, you know what, I should. I've got plenty of PTO, so I might as well burn some. What is it, Tim? I'm off the 24th and 5th. <laughs> More time to relax and get over this cold. Yeah, right? Well, you know what we should do? What, what should we Just, do? We should, we should burn some time when we're down in Florida. We go over to Kermit Wheat's operation and uh, run over to Canaveral. Ooh, that'd be fun. Tiki small. What's the what was the name of the before the Canaveral? What was the something wheat's operation? What is that now? 
Kermit Weeks. I don't know what that is. Weeks. <laughs> you don't know Kermit? Apparently not. I know Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> not the same one? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, what it's freaking scary, isn't it? What's scary? Oh, uh, just what you young pups don't know. Oh, I know. Have you ever got snippy with an AGC and called him out by his full name or frequency? <laughs> no, but that sounds like something I want to do at some point just because. <laughs> I used to do that when I would kind of get to controller's attention. <laughs> So the unique code is uh sent you a link in team speak. Uh, oh my god, you're gonna die, Mike. Why am I gonna die? When you see my my picture. Oh, your giraffe thing? Yeah, I'm telling you you're gonna laugh so hard. Oh, wow. It's got quite an operation over there. It's an incredible operation. Yeah. What operation? Uh, Kermit Weeks. Uh, go to uh, fantasyofflight.com. Wow. Very cool. That's cool. Why is that not... I don't want Moose's one. What is that nonsense? He's got a really cool YouTube channel, too. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Alright, so now let's see if that works. has to restart in order to show it. Because these don't... I have to submit. Let's 
So emotes. What are you trying to do there, Bruce? I'm trying to be awesome. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> it didn't. Did you say it didn't? <laughs> I said it isn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much for being in a god. Well played. Oh. I don't have to listen to this. I'm a god. <laughs> yeah, a fall from grace. <laughs> I'll be back later, miss, and All I'll right. see you around then. All right. Yeah, I wonder if you have to restart the thing or something. Dang it, I was hoping to do it on the fly. What happened? Well, I uploaded an emote, and I'm trying to see if I can use it, but uh, apparently it probably has to, like, start the stream over or something. I'm guessing. Because I'm not seeing it in the list. Yeah, uh, I think so. Available anything. Still looking for the mad dog? No, no, no. I was trying to. I was creating a, a livery god emote and seeing if I could get it to display on here. But my yeah, that's what you need. It's more things on your screen. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, just a moment ago, I can't send more more and slow at the same time. <laughs> Kevin, is someone yelling at you to descend? Is that what's happening? It's certainly a uh, snowy wilderness out here, that's for sure. Let's see, where are we at the moment? Uh, fantastic. Well, we're getting pretty close to the Arctic Circle. So it's the ninth day of Moosemus. So actually, no, believe it, by the way, guys, so the 12 days of Christmas actually starts on Christmas. Christmas is the 12 days between Christmas Day and the roughly the 6th, I believe, of January, which is Epiphany. So, there you go. <laughs> On the first day of Moose. Oh, boy. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Uh, David? Yeah. David, where'd you go? Uh-oh. Uh, I'm about to descend, but why? <laughs> You're not on my TCAS anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, cause one's changed. Oh, great. Did I... <laughs> got to get yourself a better uh, weather engine. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> what? Oh, it's... Kevin was posting. I've heard of that. But... It's called Cotton Eye Joe. It's a weird song. We can stream your old Albuquerque landing on Christmas. Would you like that? Would that be my Christmas present to you guys if I oh if yeah. I if I premiered the Albuquerque landing on Christmas Day? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I heard of Albuquerque on Christmas Day. You know what my Albuquerque is? The old familiar crashing sounds. What is your Albuquerque? It seems to be far. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Salt Lake. Really? Remember? I don't remember, but okay. When I had the dual engine failure and lost all electrical power. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. That was an interesting yeah. game. Uh, 
it's Tahiti, and it also seems to be Brazil. I have a real problem with airports in Brazil. <laughs> so Brazil is your New Mexico, and Fa yeah, is like and, and Fa is your Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah, I just avoid I just avoid Brazil altogether. <laughs> For me, it seems like I can never land at my own airport. <laughs> That's kind of you should probably get that under control. Next time. Yeah. The deal is he spends so much time away, he doesn't get practice. <laughs> exactly. Apparently. How long till your descent, Mike? Uh, let me see if it'll tell me. Uh, to top of descent, 131 miles. Damn. Because you got to remember, at the end of the Mad Dog, I'm only going Mach 0.76 or so. So I'm a slow dog. A slow. Why is it called a Mad Dog then? MD. Like, yeah, I know, but that should be like called. I don't know. Angry Puppy. Well, that'd be an AG, an AP. Yeah, I can't. I can't do letters. <laughs> I give up. I don't do I words. I give up. What's the opposite of a mad dog? A happy cat. <coughs> oh, I wonder if they have to be reviewed first. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh yeah, it says pending. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, so it doesn't happen this way. Try to make sure you're not uploading something horrifying. <laughs> you should make a emote of my picture. Did you send your picture on thing already or something? Or? No, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. So, so I didn't think I'd seen it. Or no, my first one. The oh, the the triple seven hundred. <laughs> yeah. That's your emote for butter. That's your emote for butter. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Ruined my dream. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, Should have saw that coming. Does anyone know Does what the know? minimums are in the airport? Does anyone know the what? Minimums. Oh, I can find out. Retard. Retard. That's not very nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking a question. <laughs> That's an Airbus word around here. We don't use that word. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's gotta be a punishment. What's our punishment for that? Uh, this is getting weird. You have to fly the Airbus next flight. Oh. Oh God. Burn. I gotta go throw up. <laughs> All right. ILS minimums. Uh, let's see here. For you. Uh, looks like uh, three twenty-two um, Barrow or three hundred seven above the ground. If you're, using, Radar. if you're using the ILS, if you're using the yes, local, just the localizer, then uh, it's uh, 860 or um, 845, um, 845 uh, MSL or uh, 860 above the ground. This is gonna be a fun approach because one nine's on the other side, so you have to come down and swoop through. Exactly. Makes it cool. Yeah. I feel cool. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. In fact, I should look and see what it's got me doing here for this. Legs. So from... Yeah, Trot to Broxus. Okay. Uh, 
We'll see if I can get this 3 4 on my lands. Get some legs. Archer at 1 9. This is present for landing. Mm hmm. So. No, this is my present to him for the. And my Ditch Prime stuff so every month. KV1 versus the KV2 is. I don't know. It's not those guys. Let's do KV1 and see what happens. Hey, Mike. Words. Hang on a second. Couldn't figure out what the KV1 is. I'm trying to do that research right now. KV1's what you want. Not the KV2? I don't know what the KV2 is, but the KV1 matches with the plate I'm looking at. Because that'll have you go to go to uh, Tro, T R O, and then K V, which is the N D B, and then fly out uh, ten miles or so from the Tro V O R, circle back around at Braxis, and and go in. So, let me just fly manual. Okay, or you could do that. Uh, yeah, see. that's how cool I am. 101 miles to top the Or you can fly it manual. Yeah. 100 miles out from top of descent, anyway. Get close. Oh, the weather outside is weather. And it's really gross. <laughs> it's really gross. Villages down there. Yeah, they are fun places to live. Yeah, right. I live here. For the picture I'm about to do. Yeah, you'd live there for all of like a week and then be like, okay, now I'm tired of living in the middle of nowhere. This is the kind of place that I think it'd be cool to visit, <laughs> not to live, <laughs> to visit. Are you showing for winds, Moose? I mean, at, uh, at the airport? destination. Uh, let me look. That's the wrong button. There we go. Ah, conditions. Let's see, what is it? E N T C. Nope, that's not right. Performance so winds are 200 zero zero at 17. It's E N T C, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I'm showing surface winds at uh, 190 at 15. Basically, it's okay. uh, 190, 15. Unlimited visibility, scattered at 4,500, overcast at 13,000, temperature minus 2, dew point minus 7, altimeter or QNH 1008. I got 217. 217? 200 at 17. Same thing Dave had. Oh, I got you. So I see at, it, it says in the remarks here, wind at uh, 2,600 feet, 220 at 12. So, I don't know. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, right? So, got a bit of, what, tailwinds coming in to land? No, 190 to, well, if it's a, you said it's a 220? Two, 200. Two, zero, zero. Two, zero, zero. Yeah, the runway is uh, 190, zero, one, nine, so you'll have headwinds. Headwinds are a light crosswind. Most said window. That's kind of cool. Snow capped hills out in the distance. Those aren't hills. Those are hills. Clouds. No, those are clouds. Those are hills. Uh, Snow encrusted. Snow encrusted, yeah. See, that's all terrain. See, terrain, terrain. I wonder if this is one of the old German air bases. I don't know. I wonder if this giraffe has a spoiler. Oh gosh.
Because the Germans had a large presence in northern Norway to disrupt the convoys going to mm -hmm. uh, northern Russia. Yes, they did. Well, we'll be on the lookout for any swastikas carved into the snow on our approach. Oh. <laughs> this makes me think of uh, the producers. Can I take your coats and your swastikas? Yeah, you probably just lost your YouTube. <laughs> Oh, she's two. got Twitch. That's true. In, that's true. In this day and age, oh my gosh. We'll just have to call it the angry spider, like everybody else does. <laughs> Ten points if you know that reference. I do not. What is that from? Sound of Music. Really? Oh, I haven't. I haven't seen Sound of Music in so long. It was on TV the other day, apparently, but I didn't know about it until it was too late. I can't believe they made a remake of Mary Poppins. Yeah, we're actually, our family's going to go see that on Christmas Day. That's kind of our tradition to go see a movie on Christmas afternoon. So I'll let you know what it's like. It's supposed to be pretty good, but... Yeah, it's just like when you you're really messing with you, the classics. Yeah, you right? mess with the classics. It's kind of like, uh, okay. Now, is it going to be a good classic, or is it going to be one of those awful ones? I've you, heard both. The, uh, yeah, the remake, it, it depends... I mean, it's going to depend on your sensibilities. If if all you can do is is cling to the the classic version, then no matter what they do, it'll be awful. Uh, but you know, who knows? We'll see. I will all keep right. an open mind until I see it, and then I will pass judgment. And it will be. Mike, swift. I have the first one. You have the first what? Picture. Okay. Okay, this one. I'll explain it here. You know, you should probably send it instead of, you know, I explain am. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In Braille. <laughs> hey, we got an NDB out there. Yes, we do. Cool. Five points if you can pronounce it. <laughs> Eva Sund. Sure. I wouldn't know. <laughs> no one's going to know if you're right or wrong. <laughs> I was counting on that. <laughs> exactly. Kvalsund. Didn't work okay, I'm out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've flown P3D. That's right, you've been uh, doing the X-Plane game recently. How is it seeing snow finally again for the <laughs> in winter? I'll let you know on uh, Monday night when I hit Aruba. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be tons of snow in Aruba. Yep, me a hotel room and watching The Christmas Story 30 times. Nice. <laughs> okay, ready, Mike? Oh, I got pink nightmare. Okay. The first, that's the first one. So here's here's the one. All right, hang on, hang on. I'm opening up the link. This is what global warming does to oh the my. planet. Oh my gosh! Now, points to you only because you included a whole gaggle of penguins, and you know apparently now how much I like penguins. So. <laughs> yeah. It's a very confused draft. This is the only reason we're going to this place right now. This is what people see there. Uh, you know there are no penguins in the Arctic, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. That would be the Antarctic. There are polar bears polar up bears. here. Is that even a thing? What, the Antarctic? What? It exists. It's a folk tale. It's a what? Does the Arctic exist? Not anymore. <laughs> Don't, not according to Al Gore, but, you know, what does he know? Did you just say not according to Albuquerque? No, Al Gore. Al Gore. Former vice president and failed climate change wannabe scientist guy thing. I don't know. Actually, Mayo, I'm kind of digging that. An inconvenient vice president. You hear about the government shutting down over Christmas? Yep, it's all, it's shut down right now. The government shut down? Yeah. What we have mean? no government. Anarchy! 
That's why we have no vats in USA. That's right. Vat USA must be shut down. The uh, the they reached a budget a budget impasse in Congress and the president, so there's no operating budget. So the government technically shuts down. They furlough a bunch of workers, non-essential personnel. So the essential personnel stay on the job, and so it's kind of a partial shutdown. And this one this one apparently affects a lot fewer people than some shutdowns in the past, even because of something. So, but they're, Christmas. They're well, yeah, that's not right, but. There's uh they're they're duking it out over border wall funding, and then Democrats want to pass a budget without funding for it. Trump is trying to say we're not going to pass anything without it, and so so the government shuts down for a few days while they duke it out and figure it out. It's just annoying. Basically, it boils down to the fact that our government can't do its simple job of passing a budget. I'm really, really scared right now because there's a the cloud layer is so thick that if I descend too far, I'm going to smash into a mountain nearby. All right, so that is why we have MDAs and MSAs. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to train right around. So if you don't descend below the minimum sector altitude, then you'll be fine. If you do, you might die. <laughs> well, I'm just going to do it anyways because I need to. <laughs> do it anyways. Well, as long as you do... Keep your descent within the correct path and in the profile, then you should be okay. Yeah. But don't stray off of that. Or you take your life in your own hands. Exactly what we're doing. Passengers brace for impact. That's what you want to hear from your captain. Alright, this is going to be an issue. Uh, nothing happened. What do you mean, nothing happened? Never mind. What, what was supposed to happen? <laughs> trying to act like the pilot. Oh. Alright, well, we are definitely above the Arctic Circle now. Did you uh, look at the minimum safe altitude uh, chart? Oh, I did. This approach? I did. I don't think uh, Mayo did. I did. I've never seen it quartered like that before in different positions. Yeah, so depending on what side of the airport you're on, you got 7,100 in the southeast corridor, the 6,400 in the northeast, 4,300 in the northwest, and 5,100 in the southwest. We're good. Actually, now that I'm under the layer, we have more than enough room down here. Kevin, did you see a Go. shooting star? Go round's interesting. Yeah, it is. The go round's not that bad. What is it? Is it just climb to 4,000? No, climb straight ahead to 3,000 um, or 7.7 .7 from uh, TR, whichever is earlier. Turn right. Uh, Cat C aircraft, max 160 knots. Cat D aircraft, max 185 knots to intercept and proceed on the 12 degree to uh, the KV, which is the NDB. Climbing to 5,000 and hold. Do not turn before MAP. There's no, oh my god. There's no spots. All right, I just contacted the tower. There's no what? All the gates are filled. Well, push yourself in one of them. I don't care. Well, I haven't landed yet. I just saw from the air. Oh, well, then you got time. <laughs> yeah, um, I've seen it occasionally. Um, apparently, it's, it's it's rare, but it, you, you do get them occasionally, the shooting stars. It's kind of cool. I saw one today on a Chewy stream. Oh, yeah? We saw one. It was really pretty crazy. Before your stream, I was watching it. I was waiting. Yeah, I think I saw one on the flight to Houston once. I was looking out the night sky and it went across. I'm like, oh, that was cool. Yeah, we're not getting the aurora. I think the aurora has to happen when it's uh, the sun is kind of more on this side, which would make sense. Yeah, let's see. Flip over to True North and not worry about it. Uh, according to what I was reading last night, you sh over here you shouldn't have to worry about it unless you're going above, uh, uh, I think it's 80 degrees. Yeah. And we're not going to get close to that, so. 
Cool. Are you taking one nine? Yeah. David? Yeah? Why are you so high then? I'm not high. You have 4,000, but you can descend over the mountain range. Why would you do that? I'm at 3,000 right now. <laughs> the next sound you hear will be a thud. Exactly. Or a deafening silence. Oh, that's a mountain! <laughs> like I said. You <laughs> passed your uh, DOD there, Moose? I was thinking the exact same thing, Kevin. Uh, we just passed it right now. We're just starting our descent. Yeah, I'm just coming up to mine. All right, runway in sight. So. Hey, David. Hi. ATC. Did you contact him? Probably not. Did you? Yeah, I'm already going <laughs> to land. Yeah. Listening to you two back and forth is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Shared cockpit by the Bickersons. That's right. What did I say the altimeter was? One zero zero nine. One zero zero eight. It's the Beaky. Yeah. Where uh, whereabouts are you right now, Kevin? With uh, regard to your flight? <laughs> and don't say water. <laughs> <laughs> 10.5 hours left. Copy. Passing two six zero. Your bottom of descent six thousand. Uh, five. The uh, the approach. Uh, we should pass uh, KV at five thousand. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to run it out to the axis. Yeah, mine go well. Mine goes the KV, and then it it uh, teardrop kind of thing out from the localizer, about yeah. uh, ten mm -hmm. miles from yeah. uh, TRO, and then around the Baxis. Yeah. So according to my thing, Baxis we should cross at forty five hundred, and then back to KV again at thirty two fifty. Yeah, it looks like that. Guess I'll follow you down, and then uh, if you're wrong, uh, my approach will be illuminated. There you go. <laughs> Just follow the fire. <laughs> well, the Milky Way is lit up. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. That's incredible when you see it in real life. Oh, I bet.
all of a sudden I'm having problems with that, uh, what is it, uh, GSX that won't load. Really? Yeah, is your, your, your parking brake set? Yeah. Uh, no, Kevin, you did not. That's kind of cool for the MD-82. Had a lovely landing. Uh, I'm not at an airport right now. No, I'm uh, descending. We're at uh, 19,300 feet. Descending you know, toward I'm just starting my descent. Trump, so copy that. Copy. I was uh, going to, uh, we have a thing we do every six months uh, with a friend of mine who used to work at the church with me. He, him and his friends started this tradition for their birthdays years ago. And they, they on uh, for each of their birthdays, which are six months apart, one in June and one in December, uh, they go and do what they call meat night and, you know, pick a, a restaurant that specializes in either like a meat buffet, kind of thing, like a Brazilian barbecue or something like that. Uh, anyway, so we're driving up to his friend's house because he was actually cooking a whole pig that this time. And he's given me directions while we're driving because I was driving, and I'm just responding to him, going copy. And he's he's looking at me like, so like okay, like <laughs> I'm just so used to flight sim. <laughs> copy, got it. Yeah, that's how I am too. Sometimes it's like it's more efficient. Just <laughs> I don't have to come up with other words. Copy, I got it. Noted. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Mark, what airport are you at having the GSX problem? Uh, it's not the airport. It's something with my SIM. It's not coming up. Hmm. Not even launching, so I think oh. there might, you know, so I might have to basically just, yeah, go through and, when was no. When was the last time you did the uh, GSX updater or the, yeah? It's been a while. I would run that. Just shut the sim down and run that real quick, because that'll probably solve your problem. Nice little layer of cloud we're coming up to here. I'm at my gate. Same here. Yeah, I think I'm going to run the anti-ice. Well, that's probably a smart decision. I'm taking the last stand. Turn <laughs> left on Third Street, Westwood, 1990. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be parking at uh, 22, I think, but I don't know if that'll be available. We'll see. 21's only available. All right, I can do 21 also, but I might have just taken 22. We'll see. Better not ran, run right into me. Well, I'll try. I'll tr oh. I can't speak for him. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hi, Mike. Is that our airport? Oh, how you doing, Chris? Oh, maybe it is. Hello, Captain Tam. What are you, you guys up to? What'd you say there? Oh, that's the airport. That is the airport. Yeah, look at that. All right. So we're about to pass 11,000. All right, so let's bring out the landing lights here. Yeah, Moose, somebody was mentioning the fact we ought to put uh, gate skins in GSX, too. Oh, yeah, because you can, they have all the, uh, those billboard things on them now. All right. right. What was your landing rate, Mayo? Let me check. AP1, it's cut off. Engines are off or down. Where are y'all going? We're landing in uh, Tromsø in Norway. Just probably contact the tower, huh? 
Did you find your Northern Lights? I did last night. I don't know if they're not working tonight, which means it's probably because the sun's on this side, but they were really cool last night when I saw them. Landing rate was one minus 186. Cool. I beat you. Good for you. Negative 63. Tower Westwind 1990 is uh, coming in to land at uh, Tromso. We're currently at uh, 10,000 descending uh, for the uh, ILS runway 19. West Wind 1990, Trump Tower, hello, please contact me when you're on final. Copy that, we'll contact you on final, Western 1990. Why'd you stop going down? Oh, Northern Lights, got him. It's coming there through the go. coming through the clouds over there. Sweet. And I'm in four four three three. Be better if there wasn't so much cloud cover. We could actually see him better, but. And I'm four four three three. Do the idea. They must only show once you're below a certain altitude. They must not show at high altitude. I don't think helps. Seems odd, but whatever. And I'm four four three five Yankee to holding point to another one. I would like to fly the Northern Lights and fly Yeah, right? What's the tower moves? 193. Uh, 183. I've come in 443. Uh, And then 443 Archer. A little bit of turbulence. Turbulence. What's the ETA, ETA on you, Tim? He's just a little bit behind me. Should be down about 2140. Delta actually flies this route, right? Stabilizer motion. I don't know about that. <laughs> MF 4433 and I'm just going to minor. I have to only one line and then four four two. And then 443, wind 190 degrees, 16 knots, and then 19, take off. Yeah, take off, and then 443. Yeah, I think that was it. 
needed to be updated. Gotcha. Let me know when your procedure turn inbound there, Bruce. Alright, we're, we're turning final right now. Okay, we're coming over the top of you, going the other way. Copy. Four four three three about to one up fifty. Gate twenty two opened up for you, Mike. Copy. And Tower West one nineteen ninety is on final room one nine. West in one nine nine zero. Just landed in one nine in one nine city grace one six. I was wondering where my blue K coat went. Now I know. Uh, was that uh, clear to land for uh, Westman 1990? Westman 1990. Clear to land and then 19 wind. 19 Alright, clear to land, runway 19 for Westman 1990. And for 433, confirm for Mojave. Fuck my old Charlie, Christian Charlie, command 4 for GG. Uh, Boomstar, 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 in the common one, that's nice for you, uh, how does it go? And 4 4 GG. I'm gonna go 4 4 1 10, that's a good one, 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 that's a Although they have they have an Orbex version of this, but I do not have it. Yeah, looks like an RJ slipped in between us there. Right. Oh really? And scaling in is 4417. Initial time, level minus 0. Level minus 0 is coming 4 Scaling in is 4.17mm, buddy. 1000. It's looking good from here, Mike. Uh, Drop the tower, good evening. Westman 2257 with you, uh, 11 DME, final runway 19. 2257, who's that guy? Um, uh, Westman 2257, could it be 35 fly plan? Uh, It's that RJ that just cut across my nose. Oh, he's a West Wind guy. Five, Scott five. Clifford. Oh, that's oh, that's Scott. Okay, he was the one that was uh, flying with us the other day, uh, last week. Four hundred. When we were doing the when we were doing the regional jet, the the Aerosoft CRJ. Continue approach, run of one line, the wind, one line to degrees, one six off. Come on, come on. There we go. 
Try to continue approach one nine or what one two three five. Hello, four four one seven, taxi Yankee, holding for and the new car taxi. In the car D, I think. Continuing four four one seven, the ice would probably be a good uh, would be a good idea, and we also need to back. Yeah, four four one seven, not sure, taxi Yankee to the I think. Yankee to the ice. Thank you. You're welcome. Westman 2257, set land, runway 1-9-er. Clear land, 1-9-er, Westman 2257, thank you. I didn't know you were 9 it flew all the way over here. Westman 1-9-er-9-0, welcome to Trump, so taxi Yankee to stand on choice. Alright, gotta watch the stand, come in. Yankee to the stand for Westman 90 thanks. That's not Tim, that's the RJ, I think. No, but Tim's coming in behind you, you gotta no, watch him. Well, no, but he's not the next one to land, that's what I'm saying. There's another guy between us. Scott Clifford. Alright, what uh, is 20, 22's available? Mm -hmm. 8, 22. It's right next to me. Yep, I see it. Uh, Norwegian Air Shuttle, that's fine. Is that? Cargo power, it's uh, 8969 crossing taxes for one thing. Delta 8969 Trumps the power, very good evening, sir. Continue approach and number 2 is landing in the 19 and um, wind 190 degrees, walking stop. Happy the winds, we see the traffic, we're blowing, Delta 8969. I'm stopping there because you're going to bring me too close. And I know that. Parking brake set. And I'm going to bring that up the rest of the way. Yes, sir. Connect the GPU, please. Stand connect yes, the low pressure air, please. Stand by. On stand at uh, 2134. Alright, there's the... Landing, right? I'll get you in a second. There's my... Lights, cut the engines. Walk our jetway. Quest to boarding. Interesting looking airport. What was that? Interesting scenery. Yeah. Not bad for default. There's Clifford down. Yep, yep, there he is. No, they don't have anything for ENTC. Uh, I thought they did. Nope. No ENTC. Uh, yeah, they do. Because Delta, oh, you're, you're right. It's, minor. it's the other two. It's uh, uh, Chernew yeah, and the other, the one in Finland. No, but then why would there be a guy taxiing in the two, middle of the water? Seven, because there's a taxi over there. Thank you, Sam. Do one more. Could be an X plane user. Could be. I'm looking right now. There's, there's a taxi when that goes all the way to one nine. Oh, wait, never mind. Just figure out what I said. 1257, taxi Yankee, stand to 1. Taxi Yankee, to stand to 1, West Wind 2257. Alright, where is Tim's lights? I don't see them yet. Oh, you should. I know. Short I, final. I know. I feel like I should. I see him. Zoom in. 
playing at 717. Always gotta be different. AFL 55, 5 and 5 is followed. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, there you are. Why don't I see your lights, though? Let's see the lights are on. Hello, Moose. Hey, how you doing? Bye-bye. Uh, oh, there you go. There, your lights now just showed up. That's weird. Go figure. Who is that? I want to see Tim's landing here. Very nicely done. No, oh, thank you. All right, we've all made it to Tromso, or however you say it. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Too bad the reverse isn't remodeled. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Uh, my rate of let's see, my landing rate was. Whoa, negative 32. <laughs> well played. Oh, wow. butter. Booyah, that's how we end the butter. year. That's how we end the right before Christmas, guys. Negative 32. Yeah. Butter. Put some butter on that bread. Indeed. That's how I do. Pilot would be so proud of you. Yes, he would. Uh, you didn't like the... He's over there. He's not the right time. Yeah, he's uh, yes, he's here in Fresno. Yeah, I was talking to him last night. So uh, Clifford came in as a looked like a RJ of some kind, and now he looks like a Dornier. <laughs> Might be a different guy now. But it's very strange. This guy just insists on running into my aircraft constantly. You see the, the northern lights up here in the cloud. Check it out, guys. There's the Aurora Borealis. See it up there, uh, up above the clouds. So how'd you get it? Uh, in Ventex, E N V T E X. It's uh, twenty four bucks. Super eighty times. Sure Shorts three sixty. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Shorts three sixty. That's better. Yeah. Spent twenty five dollars on lights. Uh, on no, it's a whole bunch of textures, but I wanted it specifically for the Aurora Borealis. Who sells a short three sixty? I have no idea, but that's what's parked next to me right now. Right there. <laughs> I don't know where it came from because a second ago that was uh, that was Clifford and it was uh, RJ. So I'm very confused. How you doing, Super Eight, Tom? That is really cool, though. The Aurora Borealis up there. It's even cooler when there's no clouds in the way. Tim, you could have just par parked at 21. There's a sh there's a short 360 at 21. Oh. Uh -huh. That's cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the... Uh, oh, and, oh, there it comes back. That's going to do it for the uh, Before Christmas stream. We have made it to uh, as far north as we're going to go. <laughs> and uh, got, got to see the Aurora Borealis. So that was really cool. So want to wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas. And if I don't see a Happy New Year, we will be streaming next week. Don't worry. Uh, but it won't be till after Christmas. So, in the meantime, have a very Merry Christmas. And uh, we will see you all, hopefully, before the New Year. And uh, if not, we'll see you after, uh, after the New Year. But we'll keep going. Keep going. Merry well, Christmas, crew. everybody.
You guys have a great holiday, and uh, think of us who are going to be working over it, and uh, we will see you when we see you. That's right. Think of Tim. He's going to be flying on uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the day after Christmas. So Safe travels out there, Captain. Yeah, yeah Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, guys. Everybody you. take it easy. It's been time with your family. Yeah. It's Merry been, Christmas to all. It's been a fun year, guys. We'll see you, we'll see you next time, next week. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the hospital